Check one, two. I have no idea what this sounds like. Can you hear me? Welcome to Manor Lords. Oh my god. Oh, it's not working at all. What is happening? <laughs> well, <laughs> so this is fine. It's fine. I can totally see and everything's cool. It was working for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what's up. My camera might be messed up. Um, but yeah, so the, the fine people at Hooded Horse have given me an advance, like an early access copy of Manor Lords and also an entire helmet. And I thought it would be like when when the rep was like, hey, we can send you this if you want. I didn't really know what it would be. It's an entire like, I don't know what this is, steel steel and brass perhaps it's like oiled and up it's oiled up it's kind of greasy <laughs> but check this out nothing if not ridiculous hope everyone's having a good day i played the game for a few hours yesterday oh yeah i can do that too i can just leave the leave the thing back i've never laced up the chin strap <laughs> But yeah, I played the played the game for a few hours yesterday. Basically, I made it to the same point that I made it to in the demo and didn't really go any further. I haven't tried out the combat yet. I haven't tried out taking over new areas yet. I haven't had to defend myself yet, so I, I really... There's a lot of new stuff that we should run into today with a little bit of luck. You've got like 10 more seconds of me wearing this, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna take it off. That's enough. It's also, fun fun fact, youtube.com, or actually I don't know if the URL is going to work. Um, on YouTube, there's a channel called Yumble Live. It's new. Some of you may be watching this on Yumble Live. In fact, I plan to do the whole series on Yumble Live as well. So I'm monitoring that chat too. If you can find it, good luck. I haven't put the link to it anywhere, so I'm hoping that it just magically... Magically disseminates through the ranks. Minxy, thank you for being here. Nardwell, thank you for being here. Roxo in the house. Liquid Ghost. It was working for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. My my cable got messed up, I think. Does it have fabric inside? Uh, there's some kind of... So here's the, here's the thing. There is a bit of a... I would call it... Maybe it's leather or pleather. So there is a fitted component in there that's not... That's not so uncomfortable... The metal parts suck to deal with, but it's a helmet, right? Ready to serve, my lord. Is that some, uh, I've got like grease all over my hands now. <laughs> it's all greased up. It looks like actual leather. I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's a very, when they said they were going to send me a helmet, I was like, okay, yeah, cool. It'll be like a plastic, some plastic helmet. That'll be cool. Um, but anyway, let me let me share the link with you for the YouTube. If you ever feel inclined to watch over there, feel free. Let's see, I should be able to copy this, paste it over. I don't know what the URL for this page is offhand, but that's the thing. If you want to subscribe over there, there's no notifications or anything like that set up. I just I just made this secondary YouTube channel. Roxo, check it out. I got I got to use the green Rox the green graphic finally. The little green uh Yumble head. Whereas you've probably noticed I use the blue one everywhere else. So Yumble Live over there is gonna be green. The regular channel is gonna be blue. Um so we can start putting stuff out there on YouTube live as well. Just so it just to keep it separate. There's cat hair all over this. She loves the microphone, I guess. Um, just to keep the live content separate from from the pre-made edited videos. Oh. Helmet's on the floor so I can access the T. Yeah. Guys, shout out to Roxo. He's the he's the mastermind behind the, the graphics, the logos, stuff like that. Make the Twitch one green too? I don't know. We could. Maybe I will. Just because both are live... I could also change the YouTube one to red, but whatever. Like the YouTube YouTube. Twitch one could be purple. I so Roxo was very kind with doing these graphics and he Oh. Is this working? Oh, there we go. Good, good, good. Um 
was very kind about doing these graphics and sent me a bunch of mock-ups. So here we are, early access. Twitch one should be purple? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You edit your videos? Thought you really were that good. What, are you talking on YouTube, Minxie? The edit takes longer than the recording. Virtually every time. So everyone, welcome to Manor Lords. Help me, help me make some decisions here. Let's see what's up. Oh, the sound stops? Oh, geez. I'll have to decide where I belong to. Right now, I'm in the bottom left, clearly. And we will have to see if that makes the most sense. Nardwell, thank you for resubscribing. Thank you for the Prime. I appreciate it. And Chosen One, thank you for being here. You've seen bottom right to be safest. Okay, Convo, I've, I've taken your word on such matters before. <laughs> Uh-oh. What am I moving right now? I'm moving entire other layers that are not this. Whoa, I can fly. All right. We'll start with that. I'm, I'm kind of off center. Or the camera, you know, I could move the camera. I could move myself. This is okay. This isn't bad. Yeah, I like that. I don't suppose it matters. But yeah, let's make our, uh, let's make our character and our coat of arms. And by, by make, I mean select. So let's select our portrait. Who represents, I kind of like the thumb. It's kind of a, you know, thumbs up. The arms builder. Like the coat of arms builder. Yeah, I don't want to go too deep into it. And we'll probably keep it a single, a single thing. Because my understanding, if it's anything... If, if historically this has worked the way it does in Crusader Kings, then these are are kind of like cadet branches, I would say. The bald guy. I like the bald guy most, too. I'm partial, I'm partial to him. I call him the thumb. Am I Hans? We can be Hans. Is there an auto-generate? I'd flip that a few times. Or the one with the helmet. No, we'll be... We'll, oh, Thoman. Ah, here we go. Fritz, Kunrad, Heinz, Lorenz. Seems like seems like we're in Germany, huh? My, my guess is... Nickel. Nick for short. I wonder if there's just one name for... Here we go. Friedlin. That's a that's a freed lean if I've ever seen one. But yeah, the coat of arms, as I understand it, it usually represents cadet branches. So whenever there's another split introduced, it's like it's like the family has split off once again. Eleventh to fourteenth century German Franconia, which is Nuremberg. Okay. So it's like I would assume Western. Western Germany then. Now, the red beehive is very much default. We're going to go down. You can't see all of them because they're behind my head. Uh, but the... This guy, I think the bull is appropriate. Feels right. Or something. Or the chicken. Chicken's pretty good. Oh, you can change the scale of it, too. Ah, okay. We don't need the chicken dominating the... the you know... Oh, number of instances. I'll take several. We'll take a circle of chickens. The tri chicken, a little larger. There we go. Three chickens. And we'll make this. Hmm, I don't like the colors at all. Three chickens and a flower. Three chicken moon. Three chicken moon. I don't know if it's actually a moon. It seems like a moon. I got eclipse on the brain. It's very medieval looking, I will say. A building would be in line with this channel. A building? Cuboid did not say that. Is Cuboid here? The secondary color could use some tweaking. Yeah, I'm not into the greenish yellow. It doesn't really represent my chicken brand. Friedlin. Larger chickens, perhaps. Uh, I don't want them overlapping. Just there. Maybe only two chickens then. Oh, no. No, okay, one chicken. Much smaller. There we go. This dominant chicken. Um, the secondary color 
Goodness. I'd like to keep it simple. So I guess not white. And we can't change the color of the chicken, it seems. Blue is nice. Oh, the symbol. We can change the colors of the chicken. We can. The chicken can be the golden ch chicken. Black and gold, perhaps? Black and yellow, black and yellow. Chicken Nuggy Manor. Correct, Liquid Ghost. This is it. Welcome. I think that's pretty classy. I might turn the volume up a little bit. Can you guys hear the music? There's a soft, subtle singing in the in the background. But I like this. Let's uh, let's continue, shall we? Yeah, I think it's good. Music's good. Okay. I don't know how how loud it is relative to my voice. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, sound effects and things. Clearly, M150, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Classic, the classic intro to yourself. Oh, yeah, I went to New Hampshire recently. I got this mug. Twitch was clever with the mug, and they said, "Oh, right, righties will." Well, here, let me let me show you. The graphic is on the other side for those who drink right-handed. I'm like wishing. There it is, New Hampshire. There's a moose on it because we have a lot of moose in New Hampshire. Um, I wish the moose was on the back side just for such a purpose, but I get to observe it myself. So this one's for me. The New Hampshire moose is just for, for my eyes only, apparently. Carnage, welcome in. How are you? Welcome back. Good to see you. Moose, moose, and meese. Indeed, Hazel. Is that a, is that a Monty Python? Monty Python reference must be. Yeah, Jim that uh, Jim the Bob. I'm glad to play Manor Lords. I really loved the demo like a year and a half ago. Was really excited. The relevant tweet would be here. What is what is it? I'm curious. The relevant tweet. Oh, he went to Franconia. Cool. Timber frames. Yep. Waddle and Dob. Waddle and Dob. Cool. So at least the architecture is kind of a modern day Germany known as Franconia at the time, perhaps. I don't know where the borders were. <laughs> uh, it was probably part of the Holy Roman Empire, I would imagine, in the in the era that that we're describing here. So I haven't done combat yet. I'd like to do combat. It seems that this one is is selected by default, end goal of domination, eliminate everybody. That's kind of cool. This Greg guy is not God. This this Greg guy, the one man, <laughs> the one man dev team, who who had help at the end. But so anyway, restoring the peace. The premise is of this scenario. Two territories in the north are claimed by an illegitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Okay, well, that's fair. Bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace. When ready, challenge the baron for the northern territories. So this seems like a good way to learn. The move it reference? Oh, goodness. End goal. Have fun. No, this is not about fun. This is about killing. I've never done the combat in this game, so this is all new to me. I'm going to say default. I don't want it to be challenging, nor do I want it to be relaxing. I would like the default experience. We're going to conquer every region. The end goal is domination as opposed to conquest. Eliminate all other lords. Interesting. So domination is the one. AI opponents, work in progress, off. Off-map adversary, present. AI aggressiveness, balanced. AI lords may press a claim towards the player's regions after they run out of neutral regions to claim. Okay. There are raiders, no more than a single raid every two years, as opposed to possibly less than a year between raids, or none, which is no random raids. I feel like... So in foundation... or uh, uh, Not foundation... Farthest Frontier, I kind of liked the Raiders. It was like a whole thing. And go have fun. Watch it, Roxo. <laughs> tread, tread carefully, my friend, M150 says. 
Raider free years. Two, so we have two years of development, which is plenty. We can get farms up and everything. Initial bandit camps, one. I believe I have this all on this setting here, so that's fine. Random bandit camp spawn limit, three. Starting season spring. We're, we may not have farms up in the first year, but it would be nice to, wouldn't it? Starting supplies, standard. Armament delivery, yes. A free weapon delivery for militia as soon as you build a storehouse and five res residential plots. Okay. Residential requirements, balanced. Yep. Approval, medium penalty, well placement, underground water, weather events, balanced. Get a warning if supplies get soaked. Yeah, we're going to keep everything in stuff anyway. I don't think we have other maps. I've just got this early access map. So we're doing um, Rise to Process... We're doing Restoring the Peace, which seems to be the default, default combat mode. Rise to Prosperity is no combat. I played that yesterday just to remember how the game works. Like, just on my own. And then On the Edge, Grow Your City... We're not doing this one today, but... Grow Your City and Raise Forces as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Survive all the attacks and reach the large town settlement level. So we'll do Restoring the Peace, which seems like a... I'm going to say it's a walk in the park. I've never done combat in this game. If anyone in here has watched other streamers or YouTube videos or any resources on how the combat works, I would love to be told these things. I'm going to pause the game and we're going to read this message. A lot of tutorial stuff may still be on. What's my name? Rald Brand. What's this guy's name, though? I've already forgotten. I know we're the golden chicken. Victory condition. Dominance. Build up your own... Uh, build up your town, your manor, and when ready, pl press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. There's no other option, so... You've seen just up to... You haven't seen the combat, though? You've seen some combat. Oh, no. Looks super simple. You got this. All right. In Manor Lords, they need food and fuel. Right. So I'm going to leave tutorials on because I don't know. We have five homeless folk. In my initial playthrough, I upgraded to a worker camp. And I wished I didn't because it was a waste of a log. Uh, let's look at the map. Where are we? Oh, cool. Last time I spawned here, and the resources were all in different places. This is great. I love that even even if the map is somewhat static, because this does seem to be the same shape and topography that we dealt with. I don't see rivers here, huh? Are there rivers in the game? There's no rivers. Interesting. Where are these guys? Got it. Ah, there's outlaws. Dear outlaws, drop paragraph here. Current relations, work in progress, cool. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Y yet another dog has crawled here. I'm going to not say anything yet to the outlaws. He's looking, he's looking kind of sketchy, so we're not going to do that. There are rivers, but no bridges, no. Dang. Well, that's okay. Now, where is this guy located out of? I don't see any other people. Ah, there we go. So that campsite is the outlaws. And did we crash? No. Ah, okay. So we can see our, our nemesis. We have in... In a lot of games, they call it the fog of war in a lot of like RTS games. I don't suppose this is much like RTS games that I've played, but uh, there's no fog of war, so we can just look at, at them. And we also don't have to explore anything. That would be cool, actually. I would kind of like it if they would include that. Like make it so you, you can only see what you've observed and the map is only open as far, oh. No, those are just good resources. Where's Homeboy then? Where's this guy? I've heard much about you and your crimes. Ooh. Negotiation. Declaration. So I need influence to unlock these things, I take it. 
Yellow is the Baron. Well, I see, I see a lot. Of, oh, yellow's the Baron. So these two then. I see, I see. That makes sense. So his borders are yellow, and the rest of them are just bandits, and or like there's a bandit camp here, and perhaps not bandit camps elsewhere. I see it there. It's kind of hard to see them next to the resources. Well, certainly we'll be able to claim like a few territories. I don't know exactly how these mechanics work at all, but perhaps we'll, we'll be able to claim other territories. This one's huge. I don't need that much space. But like any of these or this one before he gets it. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know how it works. But here we are. Bald brand. Um... Well, let's get cracking. I feel like the first thing to do, if it's anything like the tutorial. Oh, destroyed windmill, granary remains. Cool. There's like stuff already populating the, the space. Is this my side? It is. So there is a built in. Oh, you can rebuild the windmill. You can rebuild the granary. Yeah, you can rebuild these things. I wonder if there's like a bonus, like it doesn't cost as much or something. But within range, we have uh, iron ore, berries, stone, hunting, clay. We have everything. I guess all of the parts of the map have everything, but this one's really spread out, which is pretty unfortunate. So I guess the king things are what matter. So we have a lot of clay... And a lot of wild animals, which is good. I'd rather have more wild animals than berries, personally. So maybe we'll go on animals first. Or something. I don't know. I don't think it matters. Um, let's get to forestry, then. Let's get, let's get going. Maybe we'll open up this space with a forestry camp first. Because I feel like logs are just going to be... Okay, every region... Uh, lo logs are going to be a constant. We're always going to have a logging camp moving around the map, right? Animals are kind of far? You think so? Oh, I guess so. Uh, all right, we'll do berries first. But the animals are great because they're clothes as well. They make leather. Be sure to check all the resource deposits, soil fertility, deciding on the direction of your town. If it has weak fertility. I, th I bet this area has great fertility would be my assumption. Um, well, no. So I've only played in areas with terrible fertility is what it is what it seems like. But that's okay, because in our first year, I don't care about rye. I want I want the bread. And it's going to be kind of hard to get bread until we've eliminated this area, which will kill the berries too, I think. This is a pretty capable field too. Maybe this as well. Flax is for clothing, but there's other ways to make clothing too. We can get wool to get a second type of clothing. Wool and leather. And barley is terrible, so we're not really going to do ale just yet, it seems. And rye is plenty. What do, what do you make with rye? Is barley... Barley is uh, beer... And rye is... Liquor? I don't see what rye is even for. <laughs> oh, it's just harder emmer. Oh, really? So you can make bread out of rye in-game? Let me look at the windmill and see if that's true. Just curious. We'll start building in a second, but field, including wheat, flax, and barley. Doesn't say anything about rye. Wheat is threshed into grain. So I guess maybe rye is another type of wheat. Because emmer is definitely a wheat, you know. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just let's just start building where we're at. Let's get uh, let's get some more logs. How many do we start with? Eight logs. Yeah, we're gonna need 
a family or two get gathering logs, I imagine, from the get-go. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we got to get rid of this little forest to make room for our settlement. Oh, and stone is right next to us, but it's a very small deposit, it looks like. I don't necessarily want to put it too close to the berries because it'll destroy the berries and we kind of want the berries. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling conflicted. Or maybe berries won't matter very much later. I'm not sure. Let's put it on top of this hill. Close to everything, but not too close to anything is the big idea. I really don't want to mess up the berries. How crucial are the berries? I feel like we're going to want them. They're going to be our sole food source for the first year, but like later, how crucial are they? The mood, more food variants, the better. Yeah, I in the demo, I was a big fan of building... Yes, thank you. I was a big fan of... Thank you. So the ox is going to bring it over. Um, what am I trying to say? Big fan of the back lots. They're crucial for the first year. Yes, Minxie, I agree. The On houses, you could have additional space for farms, and that was overpowered in the demo. It probably, it seems like it still might be. Some workplaces allow villagers to use hand carts to transport 10 good, good at once. Pulling a hand cart off road. Got it. So the roads aren't really for pedestrian purposes nearly so much as... Uh, well, I guess we'll get all of our storages done. We'll get this done so we get more logs being, being done. And then I'm thinking storage before it rains. Because there are certain amounts of things that we have. And they I think they go bad if they sit out. So let's do it. And we'll play on four speed just so it's not horrible to watch. And I'll also I have dinner to go to at six. It's 156 right now, so I gotta I gotta be ready to do that also. Okay, let's get that building, and we can also get our granary, which is for now it'll be primarily for berries. So I'm actually gonna build it. Well, where is other food? Maybe midway between the two almost? I feel like this is going to be crucial for our town. And then later we will we will trickle into this area, but for now the nucleus will be on the northern side of the king's of the king's road. And then we will probably cut a direct route through here to get down to this for farming and stuff. Can still have additional face space for farms. Oop, saving finished. The autosave feature takes all of your inputs while you're saving, and it uh, does all of them all at once. So if you see me zoom in erratically when the game is saving, it's not my fault, I swear. Actually, here, let's build, let's build the granary up near, up near the edge of the forest, because for now, that's mainly what we're going to be doing. Right, the, the initial wood lines mean nothing, but I think that berries can only exist in the woods. So this berry patch, it, the, once we've deforested this, I think it's over. I think it's over for the berries. Well, for now, though, let's, let's just do this. Same for wild animals, correct. So deforestation matters in a sense. But let's do this. We'll build it on the wood line so it's close enough to berries, but not too close to berries. You need woods for berries and animals. Yes, yes, yes. You do want to preserve the wood near the berries if you can. I agree. So let's build that, assuming... Like, just to keep the oxen moving. I think I think the name of the game here is keep the ox busy until we can get a second one and a third one and whatever. And we'll find a better spot for the hitching post. It can now be upgraded, which is super duper great. And we've got 50 gold already? I'm buying a second ox now. Why shouldn't I? What? I want a second ox right now. I didn't realize you started with money. Last time it was a whole thing. Plots cost gold? What's a plot? All right. 
Let's get two families on logging, I think, just so we have a a, a backlog. Like the veggie garden? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I got you. The plots cost gold, I understand. So let's do... Uh, let's get our storehouse up and running as well. So the granary's going. A storehouse is good, just kind of in the middle of everything. I really want them to take out this forest, so I'm actually going to limit their work area, I think, which is now an advanced function, which I think is interesting, because that seems like a fundamental thing you'd want to know how to do. Let's do this. Another one on the wood line. And we'll say... Uh, I'll hook up these to paths in just a minute, or maybe we'll just connect them to one another initially. But yeah, under advanced, you can change the work area. Control is how you enlarge it. And for now, I really want this area taken out, just to preserve the berries and things. It would be kind of nice if this were drawable. And perhaps a dedicated ox just to this, so they pull all of the logs back to the logging camp over time. Work area size. Totally, yes, there's a lot of the, the encoded names of these things. I agree. We're also going to need... Is it different types of trees? I never understood this in the demo either, but the 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 firewood as opposed to the lumber the the timber rather firewood versus timber is it the different trees that cause the differences or what right firewood is just fuel i know but i i just feel like are they are they chopping the cuz firewood isn't a function of the, of timber if you know what I mean. Same trees cut up into smaller bits. So it just depends what... Got it, got it, got it. Different production sites. Yep. I always thought that, but I didn't know if maybe the, maybe this cuts down one type of tree and it doesn't matter. It's fine. Now, are there connections on this? The temporary thing... Oh, they do have connections. Well, okay. We'll do this just to expedite the... Once this is done being built, we'll immediately have someone there. And so right now, this is important. I always look at this. Like, this is the most important thing in basically the whole game, is how many months do you have? We've got four months of food and zero fuel. So eventually it's going to yell at me for not, not supplying the people with these things. Also, every time you pause, the game goes back to regular speed, and I kind of wish it would retain my times four speed, because that's how, that's how we want to do it. Cool. So we'll get all that put away, and these I think will go away once they're, once we're done with them, like they'll go away on their own. Let's put the, let's do the hitching post. This is kind of a waste, but. Oh, you can move it for free. Never mind, it's not a waste. I'm going to throw this between these two, I think. Or it could go anywhere. I don't know. Or we could turn off road snapping. No. I know nothing. It costs a lumber? It was free a minute ago. Well, it will need to be rebuilt. Yeah. That's, it's weird that it says for free, but I think this is a good semi-permanent place for a hitching post. That's all, because I want to increase it and buy a second ox, is really what I'm getting at. And then maybe houses start going along this. And we'll need a market area. Oh, and a well. Yeah, we'll need all these things. So maybe the well and the market area can go in the same place. I'm kind of a fan of that. Where are you taking that? You're leaving it here? Why don't you just bring it to the construction? Oh. Let's order another ox. And we'll increase... Oh, we don't have planks yet. 
Ah, we need planks. Like now. This is going to be about... Oh, this is, this is Homeboy. I've heard of your renown. Oh, thank you. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. A likely story. I hope you'll not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some have spread about me. What do you guys think? Gray, welcome in. It's still free if you get the log back from disassembly. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right. It left a... Yep, Gray Cosmos, good point. It did. It does leave a log behind. I thought that was a, a glitch for some reason. Like it pulled a log from the lumber camp that was cut down but not stored. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a reassembly. I agree. I agree. I understand. Well, let's write back. What do we have to say? War surprise declares surprise war. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> Pax, welcome in. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you've been good. You have no rightful claim. Should I do it just to see what happens? We're definitely not going to declare war because we don't have anything. So let's do it. You have no rightful claim. Send. Letters sent. Possibly a mistake. Because, like, who am I? Do I, I guess I have a rightful claim to, to this, but... This is a county, I assume. It's a very small county. This is a tiny county, because maybe this whole thing would be a county. But I guess a county is whatever. It's whatever people want to make it. Oh. Not enough stable space, so we will need to upgrade this, which means we will need a saw thing. I've been sent to dislodge the Baron. Well, we're off to a great start at that. Uh, one unassigned. So we need houses. Basically, we need a lot of houses right now. Has anyone actually seen an, an ox run away? Out of curiosity. Playing hooky? No, Pax, no. That's wrong to do. You mustn't. I see no reason to connect this to roads, by the way. If roads only affect handcarts, why would I connect roads to the to the timber setup? Right? Nerdy side, thanks for being here. Welcome in. Well let's do let's do lumber or um let's do the woodcutter's lodge up here. Though we don't need it yet. Shoot, I don't know. What's what's next priority? Probably food. Houses, food, and the fact that I just bought an extra ox. It's on its way back. It. I feel like I saw that it can escape. How big was your mining site? That's a good question. Yeah, Mariluzer, this is like a... It's non-gridded. It's a bit like Farthest Frontier, though non-gridded, and, and there's a combat element. Um, that's a little deeper, I think. We have tons of logs. We actually don't need this many logs yet. We will, but I don't think we do right now. I may perma-assign one of them to this, also, the oxen. These guys don't seem to care about the path at all. Next up is Forager. I agree. Let's do it. Guide my hand, everyone, those who know more than I do. I'm I'm, I'm but a humble yumble, as, as I've said. Um, as few trees as we can uproot. Ideally, zero. Can we get a zero? There's a little clearing. There's definitely a clearing here. And there's some sort of slope over there too. I'm just gonna go for the clearing. There's no reason to, oh, well. There's no reason to, to not put it here, I think. Don't think you need to go right to the resources. No, but but seems reasonable that one might want to at the same time, right? Because they're going to be they're going to be working out of this building, therefore they'll be able to gather more and faster. And the granary's right next to it too, which is not a bad move, I think. But I'm no expert. 
closer to resources the farther from home. Yeah. I mean, we're we're right here. <laughs> we're about to have a market in a minute. So I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem overall. Oh, this isn't bad either. Their homes are going to be right next to them, so I don't think it'll be an issue. I love the music, too. This one will have a road. No. I like that the roads don't destroy trees. It's kind of nice. There's a chance that our ox will run away. Does anyone know how that mechanic works? Also, do oxen go faster with roads? Nice work. Yeah. Which trip would they be making more often? Collecting resources to drop off or home to workplace? In this case, I think it's okay that we've split the difference between the berries and the the thing. We gotta get houses up and running though. I think we have tons of timber. We have nine timber, which is enough to build five houses. Four and a half houses. Bifos was named Jacob. Oh, we've got... Well, I've got two. I've got Thomas and my second ox should be on its way. We'll see. We'll get a main road connection going too. I'm just forming a, a bit of a perimeter, it feels like. Other than the logging camp, which is which is specifically to eat these trees. Uh, Detved, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. We need houses next. It's got to be houses, right? I want to do houses possibly right along here and then build another road behind them. General Kenobi. Let's do this. Right along next to the rocks. I wonder if the... What? Do we go to longhouses for the veg veggies? Always. In my opinion, always. But I don't know. I don't know nothing. We've already established this. So we're going to build residential burgage plots. You build them. They're awesome. It's a cool mechanic. You love to see it. Uh, right in front of... Let's do it right in front of the storehouse here. Oh, we gotta go along this way first, I think. Hmm. A little longer this way, then. Yep. We're gonna get four in right there, and then we'll build maybe two more. Let's do it. Because we got to get more people moving in. I think that the more houses we have, too, like their wives join them. Because right now I think there's no women. Their women, their women, the women show up once the stuff is built. If it's like the demo. Yep. It'll say like spouse joined. But yeah, this will give us some time. We'll be, we'll be cutting lumber. We have three excess timber currently. Or shorter ones for density, so medium length. Yeah, there, I know that there's a little expansion now. Convo, yeah, I wish that there were plots in City Skylines too. I I said it in uh I said it in a, a forum. That it would be nice if you could do like if you want to build a European city, a great way to do that would be to build the the shapes of the blocks, which can be as odd as you want. With this type of thing. Because I could have gone past this corner. In fact, now with this corner, I don't even know what this corner is for. This corner doesn't actually need to exist, though, because this road is is uh, no longer useful either. Did our second ox ever show up? Stable space, two out of one, two oxen. It might have been a mistake. 
doing what I did, but it's okay. I think it's Alt to delete. So I'm going to delete these roads. And we're going to continue this on straight for a ways instead. Just to there and then connect this. There we go. That'll do better for us. We're going to need a couple more houses too. At least uh, two, I guess. And we can have them begin foraging. And we'll add an herb garden as soon as we can because I guess that's medicine. They were very big into medicine back in the day, apparently. Mm. I've never seen Cities XL. So I guess two more... I'm going to add two more Burgage plots right right now. Ooh. Hmm. There we go. Just so we get a little growth of population. And we will need a few other things. Ooh. I'm thinking that one of these Burgage plots. Homeless will move to the plot. Approval is high enough. Cool. So we finished our first house, basically. I may assign one of these permanently to the to the lumber camp. But right now, I don't think it really matters. So where's the market going to be? Great question. Great question. Uh, well, I can't mess up the stones. We also need a well. We need a well, we need a market. I'm thinking we continue building down this way, perhaps. So maybe this becomes our our market right next door. Gave the old ox a handful of month old grain. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I love the the speech. Who approved this construction plan? A blind man or a fool? Or perhaps a blind fool? Oh jeez. They say they say things. Houses can struggle to meet their needs if too far from the market. I've never seen that issue, but I, I like this potentially. All right, we got two homes, so we got three homeless fam families so far. Uh, I keep seeing new mercenary companies available. I don't know how that works at all either. Uh, markets, markets, markets. As long as we don't mess up the stone... Here, what's a good one to look at the stone? Uh, the well could go here, potentially, if there's water here. Residential, the well. Totally isn't. <laughs> That's fine. We could have several wells. They're fairly cheap, right? It costs like one... One wood, yeah. And it enables, enables firefighting, too. Cool. Alpha Twins, thank you. Thanks for the support. Thanks for resubscribing. Welcome in. Appreciate it. The logging camp is clearing things out quick. Yeah, that's why I wanted to build it away from... I guess we want to keep these berries as long as possible, right? So let's, let's, let's go this way. Uh, until, we hit the, until we hit this, at which point I have no idea... I guess we'll switch to farming. Because this year, clearly, we're not going to have farms up and running. But we should be diligent about getting them up for next year. Oh, that's the saving trick that I talked about before. Now, what if, what if the market goes right up alongside all of this? So, if that's good there... How many plots does this... Or, um, ooh, excellent! The market with the well? Classic. Classic move, right? 16. That's plenty to get us going. For a long while. What do you guys think? I think that's cool. The well and the market all in one thing. I love that this all automatically builds too.
Yeah, Sharpless. This is the work area currently. I'll expand it across. I mean, we'll move it across the road and we'll take out this next probably. Or maybe down here or maybe up here would make perfect sense because this is just the iron anyway. But yes, thank you. City life. Oh, food stall's done. Oh, wow. They already built a food and a firewood stall. And family members are joining the settlers, so buildings should go up a little faster. Cities XXL. I've, I didn't know that Cities XXL and Cities XL were two different games, actually. I know nothing of such things. We need more stable space. Are you stuck? Are you unable to drop your transported goods? What are you doing? Or is this already occupied? Oh, this is already occupied. Let's dedicate one of them specifically to this. I don't know if this actually matters, but I think this is a good move. Cool, so this one is now dedicated to this logging camp, I believe. It seems like this should count as the hitching post now. You shouldn't need little stables everywhere if it works at this thing, in my opinion. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> we haven't done this in a while. I was on vacation last week, so I didn't stream or anything, and I missed her tremendously. So we haven't uh, got to do this dance in a minute where she comes and tries to hang out while I'm playing games. Hi, Cleo. Hi, beautiful. She's just glad that people are home, I think. She's just really, really happy that stuff's going on. Good girl. We've got a bit of stone there. I didn't actually see how much stone. 100 stone, which is not a ton. 139 iron, which is also not a ton. And the berries is like 30, I think. Or, no, 64. Cool. So we're, we are going to need firewood in a little bit. Hi. This is heavier than it looks. <laughs> she beckons. Let's do firewood up here. Summer's coming soon. And they can, they can work on this area and start clearing that out. Yeah, Hazel, she's very, very good. Is firewood the next best move to do? I don't really know. Fergs, welcome in. What type of intersection? Parklow. Parklow all day. Gathering. Firewood. Yeah, she's here. She's just hanging out. She's just enjoying the scene. You want firewood before, fir firewood before first winter. Absolutely. But I think they burn firewood all the time, don't they? Twenty something. We were given twenty something. I know nothing of such things. Now we can increase the curve. Hmm. What do I want here? Uh, it doesn't matter. We can just we can just do this. Nothing really matters. The roads are are deletable instantaneously. So whatever road I build, I can I can redo later once we decide to fill this in with buildings as things change. A new message! A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. You will now be able to create your first militia banners. Ooh, militia banners. You hear that, Cleo? I tried to show her the helmet earlier, and she was terrified because it's scary. And mainly because it's metal and loud. We will need more weapons to equip all of the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Well, we're going to make them ourselves. Because we've got we've got iron right above us, right? Is it the bloomery or whatever? Oh, your nails. Hi, good girl. Not enough stable space. We lack stability. Cool. So this will give us one extra uh, family which will be good. We will need... Yeah, this forest is going to be gone in no time. Hi. 
Hi, I know, you're so needy. You missed us so, so much. She missed us so bad last week. And now I'm here. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get planks going, I think, because I'm afraid that the ox is going to run away. Seems like a valid concern, right? That the oxen might run away. Oh yeah, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, let me show you the helmet. <laughs> they, the uh, hooded horse sent out helmets. Let's do that, actually. Uh, I like that. That's charming. Nothing is going to fit in that space, but that's okay. You've never seen the ox run away? It keeps saying that they can. Well, maybe. Let's find out. I do have 30 additional gold, so whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, what do we want next? We've got firewood being built. We're going to have another family moving in in a second. Everything else seems to be getting taken care of pretty quickly. I don't think we can do farms in the first year. I've never been able to do it successfully. Not well. I tried yesterday. Oh, there's the well. I've never been able to get farms uh, operational. It's too bad that this can't be upgraded like a better well. Yeah, one is the, the village wealth and the one on the right is my wealth. That's me up there. That's who I am on the inside. It doesn't look like that. Cleo, your tail... She's just standing there. <laughs> just doing tail stuff. Hey, good girl. Well, we're not building anything. Let's build something. We're going to need a farm eventually. We can start... We can continue building houses. Would be an okay move. The logging camp is going to have to move eventually. But right now I think it's good. Because we'll, we'll keep pulling logs to this point. Firewood. Yeah, I got firewood going up here. So let's... I guess let's let the firewood finish. And we can, uh, as as an extra family moves in, we can convert them to firewood. I love the diversity in the assets, actually. Like, they're very... Very, like, natural looking. Alright, wood cutting is a go. You run into clunkier elements as you grow. Yeah, the... so... All of the, the way that these things are handled, I haven't explored yet, but eventually we're going to have specialized storehouses, because storehouses are effectively your distribution. So we'll have to attack that later. Allie, welcome in. Thanks for being here. How are you? It's also interesting that the logs don't get pulled into the storehouse, because they used to get pulled into the storehouse. Now it does not seem to be the case anymore. We're going to need one more family to move in. Yeah. Could be tighter, but understandably hard to solve. Yep. No unassigned families to guide the ox. Oh, you're just walking around? Hi. <clears throat> what a good girl. Here, I'm going to grab more tea, and then we're going to expand more. Right now, we don't have anyone unassigned. We have plenty of logs, though, and we're really eating up this forest. And clearly, the town is going to wind up over here in a big way. Like, this will be a bit of a nucleus, but I think we'll have more town here. There's no way to pull the log... Well, we have two oxes! We have, we have an ox running the logging camp, Bad Egg. So, there's one here... And there's actually... This one is getting pulled around to do things. No, but the, that person was handling the ox just now. We also have no need of it. Like, this ox is permanent, a permanent fixture for this for now. And they'll pull them out as needed. 
need unassigned families? Uh, I mean, I don't... I don't see it being a problem right now. I hear what you're saying, and I saw the message, but I see both oxen being guided and pulling logs into the camp. We have 17 saved up. We need an, we need an extra family is what we need. To build, you need an unassigned family. I agree. We have enough houses to support six families currently, so I'm letting this one hopefully attract a family. This is a good spot for additional families probably too. Or maybe around this. Here, let's uh, let's assume we want to go down to the road from the market because we do. Keep your hearth warm and your home cozy. Keep your hearth warm and your home cozy. So there. Bring this here. Leave that there. On. Feeling that as a concept. I don't know why another family hasn't moved in yet. But no, people are guiding the oxes. I can unassign a family to build more houses. Here, let's do more houses. Residential. I'll unassign someone to, to help make this dream a reality. And also, let's do a road that connects these two areas. Without destroying the stone. Shoot. Well, at least we'll add something here. The roads are so easy. It's almost too easy. Good girl. Bye, Cleo. Approval decreased. Check why. Homelessness. There's some amount of homelessness. We have too many homes currently. We have six living spaces and five families. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but seems to me... Seems to me that they're, they're just fine. And they're being complainers. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's do maybe right to left. Let's see what sort of space this leaves. Homelessness is no longer a problem. Someone needs a summer house, too? Yeah. Oh, it lasts for a few months. Okay. I'm feeling that, I think. Now we'll have to unassign someone to do it. What do we have too much of? We have plenty of food, so I'm gonna... We should keep foraging while there there's foraging to be done. So I'm actually going to... Ooh. Let's let the logging camp do it. So that's enough logs for now. I think. We've got we've got 20 logs. We've got a surplus of 15 logs even after these are built. So we're fine. It's the memory of homelessness. We're still we're still a bit traumatized from the homelessness, so if you could please consider doing something about it. Unassigned ox oxen are needed for construction. I agree, bro. Go and get it. And let's actually actually do something a little different here. That is weird. So that's a block now. We'll see how it goes from here. This is all emergent. It's organized right now, but eventually it'll seem much less so. Only one oxen left? We have two oxen currently. We have two oxen at present. Let it be known to everyone... Hither and thither, there are two oxen. Two of them, still. We'll see how far these guys go. This is a two ox town. It could be a three ox town eventually. Better than one, Fergs, I agree. One is dedicated to pulling logs into the lo to the logging camp, so Thomas is waiting to pull logs in. I mean, a third ox would be totally reasonable, and we have the money for it. But, uh, well, let's do it. Let's see what happens. I ordered another one. Hi, Cleo. Are you coming back up? You don't know what you want. You want attention, and you have a bad attitude, and I love it. Good girl. 
I guess we'll watch these houses get built for a moment. And then we'll reassign someone. Like, right now, we have enough houses that somebody could move in if they wanted to. Maybe we need more places to work to attract more people, then. Hither and thither, there'd be two oxen here. Now there's three, or there will be three shortly. Though they always threaten to leave. Approval is only 50%. That's correct, but that's because we don't have anything. Market food variety. There's two types of food, but only till the bread runs out. I might build a stone camp just because we're eventually going to need stone, but... If approval is over 50%. Awesome, yeah. So so the, the game owes us a family right now because we already have six and we're about to have nine. Then start thinking about hunting. Let's do it. Let's think about hunting. I agree. I'm feeling I'm feeling like the hunting camp. Ooh. Disease. So this this can be done at the forager hut, but we have to add we have to do uh we'll have to start exporting something. Eventually. Maybe one more row of houses facing the opposite way or something. Hunting is good for clothes as well. I'm feeling I'm feeling like hunting goes on the road here and they can wander out to get it. Unless there's a clearing, but I really don't want to eliminate the trees, right? The way the trees look in fast mode was kind of crazy. Trees don't really look like that in the wind. That looks like a very sped up version of it. We have not enough stable space once again. Build more hitching posts or upgrade one to a stable, otherwise some livestock may run away. I know that people have just said that they've never seen that, but I'm concerned that that may be a thing. Hunting camp. There's clay there, too. That'll be neat. This seems close, right? That seems good. We'll even angle it towards our town. I wish it wouldn't do it like that. Yeah, that's fine. The granary is about to have some way to go. Snapback pretty, welcome in. How's your day? You've never seen anyone with too little hitching space either. Yeah, I should probably get more hitching space, huh? Seems like it may come into play at some point. I'm thinking here. Just any little extra nooks that are around. This is all market. Or maybe here, maybe next on the other side, and we could just have two stables near each other. Let's also get... I'm just going to have too many things under construction because I like it. But we're going to start turning timber into... into, uh... saw. What are these? Planks. Timber into planks. How is Cleo? She's great. She was just here. I don't know what happened. She wandered off. That's good. Is that a big hole in the ground? Huh. Cool. I guess that's what they mean when they say saw pit. Okay, let's get that going. Cleo is really, really good. She just wandered away. She was walking in front of me over and over and over. How's our market food variety? We still have a bit of bread, so that'll keep us above. And hopefully families will start moving in. I think it's because we don't have jobs. It's a pit where you use the saw. Good call. Very good call. 
You miss her? I've... Yep, I understand. I feel that. The missing of the Klee. Guys, Snapback Pretty is my fiance. Our cat is Cleo. She's wonderful. Cleo's pretty good too. I love the hand cart mechanic. It's so good. Oh, and we already have one over here, I think. Nice, we got one transported good. No, we have zero transported goods. I guess it doesn't require a thing. Oh, a new family moved in. Nice. So finally it happened. They moved in. You know what it is? It's because there wasn't a job for them. You have to build a job for them before they'll move in, I believe. Because now we're constructing the saw pit and the uh, hunting camp. And as those get constructed... There we go. So now we've got 18 people living here. Good. It was the month that shifted? Oh, really? I didn't notice. Bookie, good call. Hitch that oxen up to a new post? I agree, yeah. I'm getting the saw pit so we can double the capacity of this hitching post. And then I'm going to build another hitching post. I just don't know exactly where the second one's going to go. Let's see. Let's pick right now. It's a logistical thing. I'm feeling here because nothing else is going to fit in this little spot. And we can put stone down the other side if we want. I did pull the family away from the logging camp that was doing logging. Can I unassign... Unassign livestock worker. So now there should be an available third ox somewhere to help get all of these logs into position. Oh, this is a king one. 40... Oh, we're going to have so much leather. And food. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Keep your heart warm. And your no, Max Fi Guy, this is... It's a game. It's a city builder slash combat thing. I don't know how to describe it better than that. Oh, saw pits on. Let's do it. And I'm actually going to... I may dedicate a livestock to this because otherwise it's really hard to get them to bring... Uh, stuff over. So I'm going to give them their own oxen to walk the, the logs over. And once we have two planks... I don't know how many planks per per thing. Oh no! Resources stolen by bandits? What bandits? Is it their existence? Just because they exist? I'll kill them. They're down here. They're not that nearby. Quite a hike, actually. Quite a hike. Sound like Tropico. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't physically visit. They just stole it. Because this guy would have would have killed him. That's Mr. Uh, Mr. Bingus. Fritz! Fritz would have would have had them. They paid someone to nick the bread. Ugh. They bribed my my citizens. Is that what you're implying? My citizens are beyond. They're they're they're. Uh, what am I trying to say? They're reputable. Okay. My citizens are of are of the utmost repute. Ninja bandits, not that, not the magic bandits, anything but that. Come on, guys. Let's get real. We need more stable space. So I'm hoping we can get more. Is anyone doing this? Good. They're doing it. It says they're waiting, but it seems... There we go. We got five boards. So now we can upgrade this to a small stable, which will give us one extra spot. And then we'll upgrade this one when it's done. Walkability is king. We're going to build a very walkable city. I don't want our oxen getting tired. And the hitching post is done. So now we're at three for three, I think. This is heavier than it looks. Did we lose an ox? Total unassigned. So by assigning it, it reduces the total? 
do I have three or two? Because I paid for an ox already. Did I never receive my third ox? Berries, berries, I don't know how to feel. I see one there, and I see one there. I believe there's a third one somewhere that should start existing. Unless, they, unless it ran away. Which may be true. Zreezy, welcome in. No, I had th I bought three. You think it disappeared a while ago? You think it just disappeared? Damn it. That's 20 down the drain. That's 20, uh... Two ox and three stables. Right, but... Right, this, the small stable has two oxen. We've got enough burgage plots to move people in still. Did this ever get finished? Get that done, please. Yep, walk out. Well, we'll buy another one. We can export some clothes or something once we have some. Do you need to assign a family? No, it's it's mainly uh, unassigned families will run the stable is the thing. Like automatically the builders will, will use the oxen. No, this is a two ox town. It went from two to one. The count went from two to one. No, no, no. The count is two currently. It's, it has never been one, except right at the beginning. It says not enough stable space. Is there a way to see all of the oxen? All the, all the oxen free? Or is it because I assigned one here? Thomas is there. There's, there's much uncertainty. Oh, this finished. And we'll make the limit 20. Because this is such a great thing. So now the store, or the uh, granary folks are going to have a longer walk. But that's okay. They have a very short walk here. So they can afford a longer walk over here. New mercenary companies available. It keeps saying that, and I keep not understanding. Uh, we need another family to move in. So I guess we'll wait for it. Unless we need... Unless we want to say we have enough of something. We have food for 18 months, fuel for 16 months. I don't think fuel goes bad. Hey, we got a new family. Awesome. We're about to have even more market food variety which is swell. We'll be able to start exporting. Let's do a tannery next, actually. The extra stable space is here. The hitching post supplies one, and the small stable supplies two. You said, no, this is a two ox town. It was one when I said so, then you bought another one, back up to two. There were three, so I, I bought them at... Tw uh. Maybe I never bought a third one then? Is it because I assigned one to this? Do, should I unassign one from this? Did this one unassign? It did. So there was one here that got unassigned. I bought a third one, right? How much are they a piece? They're 20 a piece. No, we started with 50. We've only ever had two. I did buy a third, but it ran away. How... How then do I have 10 gold? Because we started with 50. See what I mean? I thought, I agree, I thought I I started with 60. Well, then how do I have 10 gold? <laughs> I thought I started with 50. At 20 a pop, an oxen is 20. And we have 10 gold. We haven't exported anything yet. We're about to. We're absolutely about to. Is there a log? Yeah, right over here nerdy side. There's five of them. Oh, we bought two and started with one. Correct. You're right. So there should be... Okay. I forgot about the one we started with. A history log. Yeah. One disappeared. 
One disappeared due to not enough stable space. And it still thinks we don't have enough stable space. Even though we have three spots. Like a history log. Yeah, I understand. I don't think so. No. Getting a lot of frames, though. No, I don't see any way to track what happened to them. But I also don't see why... I, there's there's much I there is much that is not known to me. Let's get ourselves set up to to uh, export though. Trading post right on the right on the road here makes the most sense, right? I'm feeling this. Is that the bandit? You're the bandit. I see you transporting meat. You're the trader. Oh, we're going to need, probably going to need more logs. Actually, no, we have the exact right amount of logs to get this done. Though we should have a backlog of logs. No, good, it's, uh, good films, it's just the two oxen that we have. We did have three. It says total unassigned, two, one unassigned. This one is now assigned here. What happens if I unassign it? Now there are two, two unassigned oxen. The th a third one ran away, but I, I swear I built this in time. I'm quite sure. That's okay, we'll get it back. That's life. We'll upgrade that in preparation too. We're making it happen. We're making pelts, we're making meat. We're gonna have more people moving in because we have the ability to host nine and we currently have seven moved in. So we have room for several more families. We absolutely need more logs also. So subtract one of those families and one of the families will be needed for trading. And the thing that we're actually going to trade is probably clothes because we're about to have pelts, right? One did indeed run away. Shoot. Dang. I was operating under the impression that they didn't build that into the game yet. <laughs> Let me grab tea. One second. So I brought my, I brought my new teapot over. No, I'm just kidding. This reminds me of a teapot though, honestly. <laughs> Those of you that weren't here at the beginning, <laughs> it's so legit. <laughs> Unnecessarily, like, Hooded Horse was like, hey, uh, early access starts soon. Do you want a helmet? And I'm like, yeah. Cool. Like, some, it'll be some little thing. Like, oh, no, this is like, it's an entire, like, metal helmet. I did not know. Bad Egg, thank you for checking that for me. You will find much that does not add up. It's alpha or earlier. I played the demo and the demo was pretty solid. But yeah, look at this. Craziness. Craziness. Wear it for immersion? I can barely see. My, my beak is gonna be hitting the microphone the whole time. It probably sounds terrible too. Yeah, we need it. We need a tannery. I agree, Sharpless. But yeah, this this is a thing. Our Lord is safe. My my noggin is uh, un unblemished. The beak. It's crazy, right? It's like heavy, guys. Like this is not a small thing. And they're like, yeah, we'll send you a helmet. And I didn't exactly know what they meant. Maybe part of me thought that it would be like a, a semi-legitimate thing. I thought it would... I wouldn't have been surprised it was more of... If it was like a lighter promotional thing that felt less functional. But that feels like a fairly functional thing. Can you prop the face mask up? Yeah, I could tip it all the way up. But I can't wear headphones. So guys, we lost 10 gold due to my gross incompetence. Will you ever forgive me? 
We need an extra family to start operating this because we're all out of timber now. I've run us out of timber. So as soon as this is done, we're not actually going to assign them to... Here we go. Construction finished. A family for logging. And then when another family moves in, we'll build the tannery. And these have... These are not... Oh. Unassigned small stable. Oh, this, this, this. Yeah. That can wait, honestly. We only have two oxen. I wonder when this goes away, because we do currently have enough stable space. Or is the game going to take away my oxen? Uh, Sharpless, was there a... Or sorry, Bad Egg, was there a message that popped up? It may be bug, try a reload. No, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Do I have too much of anything? We have food for 20 months, but I'd rather have them continue harvesting berries. Uh, we actually don't need anyone in the saw pit at this exact second, so I'll let them finish this. And we'll get some more timber going. And we'll build the tannery. I don't sense that there is currently... Okay, it costs four logs. As soon as that hits four, we'll be, we'll be good to go. Generic storage full, yes indeed. That's a bit of an annoying message, but it's always going to pop up. Now we have four stable spaces. If it's really bad, I'll try a reload, but I bet if we buy another ox, I bet it goes away, because it'll probably recheck. It's probably only told to check periodically. Three timber. We need one more timber to build the tannery. There was no message. How did you see it? Uh, you just saw the number decrease? That's interesting. They're still upset about the homelessness, which at this point was six months ago. So I don't know what to tell them about that. We're also going to do stone here in a little bit. And in theory, the tannery should be a... The tannery... Oh, five timber, nice. It should emit radiation. And by radiation, I mean it should be pretty gross. But I don't think the people actually care about it in this build of the game. So I'm just going to put it right here. Which is close enough to, the, to, the, to its storage. And we're already kind of using this space in such a way. So why not? Bookie, yeah, we got firewood right up here, so we're making our own firewood. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I know the stuff from the demo, it's just other things I don't know. The oxen, you didn't need to have the right amount of hitching posts. We're gonna need more families, too, eventually. Gave the old ox a handful of month old grain. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. Keep your heart warm and your home the idle talk. So everyone, just just know, oxen will leave silently if you don't have enough stables. A blind man or a fool, or perhaps a blind fool. So now I know. Also, I haven't focused on mercenaries or anything. Right now, I'm really focused on developing the city. Um, because I don't know how to do that yet. I'll be honest. I have no idea. Maybe one day I will learn. Oh, family started moving in. That's wonderful. Just in time to work the tannery. So we now have leather clothes, so it'll build an extra, an extra stall here in a minute. Bread, freshly baked. This forest is also receding wonderfully. So I'm feeling I'm feeling like maybe we start building this way, perhaps. The bread is definitely not freshly baked. We moved here with the bread. The bread is just awful. This is not good bread. Construction finished on a new clothing stall, which they can stock with 
with our fresh, uh, freshly made large shields. No, freshly made. Hopefully this place is actually producing leather. Hey, it is. Freshly stocked leather. Eventually we should have a surplus of the leather. Families that produce the goods man them. Yep, awesome. And we can see the market stall icon. Yeah, but I also see the storehouses with icons. Ooh, maybe not the granary. Hmm, I guess I don't know how it works. It's not what I assumed. Resources stolen, 10 pelts? Dude, am I gonna have to kill these bandits? I'm gonna have to kill the bandits. That's that's what the game is is telling me, right? There's a lot of them, though. These are the bandits, I assume? Storehouse is selling. You wanted that combat. Well, there's no combat yet. They're just, they're stealthily disappearing my goods. They're just, they're just disappearing them. Fortunately, this is a rich deposit, so we, I think we'll be fine. We will get more hides. We will make more leather. Wonder if a militia would decrease army success. Well, let's see. So we've got 16 recruits. So that's that's all of the men, I assume. Yep. 16 men. We have 20 spears. So a spear militia seems logical because that's what we have. I created my first militia. Huzzah. You can get spearmen right now. Correct. <coughs> That's my logic. Go kill them and earn gold. Is that a thing? Grab your pickaxes, boys. Grab your, your wood. Your, uh, your wood chopping axe. Male villagers will be even, evenly distributed between all militia units. They will try to find required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on unit type. Yep, we already have weapons and shields for this unit type. The unit recruits are marked ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. 16 out of 36? 20 out of 36? So wait, oh, there's a limit of 36 for this. I see. I see, I see. Go to war from high ground? Is that true? I think they're literally down the hill. No, that might not be true. It seems like we should have more people. I should at least be using all of my spears, right? Before we go and do this. I don't have any bowmen anyway, yeah. Bookie, is that like a Age of Empires 2 reference then? Ten timber. Uh, we could be selling stone, but we only have a hundred, so that's probably not very smart. I would love to get a third ox, though, when we can. And we've only got one house worth of additional space here. Part of me wants to move the logging camp closer to everything over here. All of this is great. Great logs, actually. The greatest of logs. What do you guys think? Move the logging camp? Suggest working on tier two housing? I think we're virtually ready. Oh, other than the church. Yeah, let's do it. That'll make us money uh, passively. Cool. So let's build a church. I forgot that was a thing. It's a residential thing. The wooden church. The wooden church. The church should go at the top of the hill. Ah, facing the market. How nice. How nice and quaint. Uh, turn off snap to roads for now. Let's see if I can get something nice here. I think that's pretty reasonable. Center it on the... Uh, center it that way. A cobbler and sell wood? Cobbler and sell boots. Or a bowyer. Tier 2 housing is, is a great idea, though. I agree with that. And a church is the way to do just that.
What do you think? Centered on the market or centered on the road next to the market? I wish that all of the entrances functioned, but I don't think they do. I like the... I like centered on the market, I think. At the top of the hill next to the market. Leave enough space for a tavern next to it? Well, goodness, why? Just to... Just so everyone can party when church lets out? Did it connect? It looks like it connected. Well, now it's definitely connected. This is going to cost 10 stone, 20 planks, 5 timber. So we are going to need additional planks, I think. No, we've got we've got everything, I guess. Work area is empty. Ah, the foragers are done foraging. I think this is uh I think that's over. So I'm going to unassign them and let them build actually. Oh, they just brought the fences over and laid them down. It's a very pretty game. Mm, everyone wants one, but it's icy. Yeah, I so I wish that it had connections on all sides. It strikes me that it doesn't. Because the lumber camp has connections on all sides, even though there's no reason to connect it, seemingly. Whereas this one only has connection on the front... I think they can walk in on any side, but I wish it snapped. Or put it to points where it can snap. Yeah. Do we have enough stone? I guess it wouldn't have let us build this if we didn't have enough stuff. But yeah, we'll have a lot of level 2s in just a little bit here. And all of the level 2s will make us additional money. You started with some stone. Right. Whoa, I just don't know how much. We still have 10 stone. So I guess we can get on... The second we need stone, I'll get on this stone. Because there's 100 there. I'm also feeling like moving the logging camp is a reasonable move. And we do have... What? 6, 7, 8, 9... There's one additional family not moved in yet. Stone is epic. There we go. Aussie effects. Thank you. I couldn't agree more. Stone is epic. Right now, everything's very tight knit, so getting resources back and forth doesn't seem to be much of a much of a time concern. We have so much food too, between the berries and the hunting, like, and the low population count. A bandit camp was sighted. Oh no. Here, in my realm. Like an additional one? Because we already know about this one. Is there another bandit camp? Or is it just a new bandit camp was sighted? And it's this bandit camp that we already knew about. Oh, this one. <gasps> There's a second bandit camp. There's an additional one. There's the stone bandits. And then there are the field bandits. I don't know what to say about them. Maybe they fight each other. Or they're, or they're both part of the same team. I have no idea. They're going to steal all my stuff. I wonder if not having a militia is, was part of the problem. 11 timber. We need more houses. Here, let's do this. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. Impossible. Actually, hold off on the road. Let's do the, let's do that, the plot first. The long side here. Well, what do we get if I just max this out? What what comes of us? Whoa! Might as well, right? What do you guys think? Send it? That's a lot. And they all have the expansion in the back. This is probably not very efficient, but it's okay. Four plus two, right. They all have the expansion and then they have extra housing. 
prime veg plot real estate. Yeah. Jack, this is more, probably more communist than I'd like to believe. It is definitely a little community, and they definitely don't have to spend money between each other, so I, I don't know what they're... Oh, this is fine too, but why not do it the other way, since it gives us a little extra... So the extra plot in there, if you guys see the little extra... There it is. Disappeared, reappeared. That little plus is an extra family unit. We can't build this. We don't have enough timber. We do not have enough timber. How much does it cost? Eight? Well, we'll come back to that. Once the church is done and once we've got a bit more... A few more logs saved up. I would also like to move... I'm thinking maybe timber winds up down here instead. At the bottom of the hill. And then it can pull from all of this. But it would be nice go. to have more people moved in here. It says we have 13 timber. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. It says we have 12. We should absolutely be able to build this now. You can, yeah, Bookie. We can set where they log the timber, but the further it is from the thing, the longer it all takes. Why not? Why not? Specifically, as specifically as possible. That's a cool fun uh, feature. It doesn't like this for some reason. I don't understand why. Oh, you can rotate it, too. Great. Oh, that would be kind of nice, too. Timber waiting at construction somewhere? Well, this should all be extra timber. In theory. Hmm. There's something on the land that's in the way. I don't think there is. Because it wouldn't have let me build the, uh... Like, it wouldn't let me do it if I couldn't do it. Oh, this is probably better. I like this. I like this way. I think it'll be cleaner. Though equally as unable to be built. Uh, thank you for probably subscribing. I missed it. Oh, uh, Breichvert, thanks for bringing friends over. <laughs> thank you for being here, everybody. We're playing some, some, uh, Crusader Kings. Nope, that's not what we're playing. We are playing some, you know what it is, you know the one, we are definitely playing, it's definitely a game, uh, Manor Lords, that's the name of it, ah, it just wants to do it regardless, ah, that's a fun, that's a fun layout, <laughs> for some, oh, is it because it's too steep, it's because it's too steep, that's actually what it is, I think, I, I bet that that's the reason. But the game isn't telling us. I think it's too steep. Because it's on a hill. To be fair. So let's... Uh, well, now, now I'm inclined to move the logging camp. And build houses here. Next to the church, kind of. On this nice, flat hilltop. Earning that helmet, yeah. No, not too many plots. I think it's because... Ready? Here's a way to test, perhaps. Oops. Let's imagine we wanted to place... Well... Oh, it would let us place the tavern. Huh. Not enough goods. I don't know. Now that I see it, I don't actually know. Construction. Farming. A farmhouse is fairly large. Hmm. It seems like we should be able to build there. Do you have a well? Yeah, we got a well right here, right in our market area. Because that makes sense to, to me. Here, let's outline a spot that houses are about to go.
It seems to me that having roads surrounding the church is a reasonable, a reasonable move. And I'm a reasonable person, I suppose. Um, yeah, down down in the middle of all this, I think. Then they can be pulling trees from all from all here, instead of like this void. Now here's the next question. Can I build burgage plots here? Jack, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome in. Are you sure that only displays free logs? I think so. Yep, surplus goods. I believe I believe so. I believe so. I could be wrong though. Oh, we've got three families too? Wow, we got a lot of free families work. Oh, because because I just moved that. That's why. Thank you, Breichfurt. Guys, big shout out to Breichfurt. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like lost in the thing. Can I build half the plots? Guys, Breichfurt generally plays a lot of uh, workers and resources, which is a game I also love. A lot of you probably have seen me doing that too. But yeah, it's a blast. Check out the Breichfurt. This is the way that I would want it to go if given the choice, I think. It doesn't it doesn't tell me anything. Now, is this one possible? Brightford, thanks again for bringing friends over. I wish I could also see cuz I can't see where I'm ending here. Hey. make a road between the new plot and the old plot I want to build houses basically right where that this one is probably because that's in the way let's just let's just see can I build a plot here just a single plot this one will let me build it that one's fine I wish it would tell me why make a road between the new plot and the old plot that's an okay idea yeah let's see because it, it does tell you when the slope is too steep, I think. Please don't snap all the way down. I don't really want to include... That will probably work. Yep, that builds. Which is, which is okay. I would like them all to have the workshop in the backyard. The, the area in the backyard. But... It could also... Houses can go here, too, along along this side of the church. It makes me a little sad that I don't know why that isn't working, but... This isn't so bad. Not enough space. Um, this way, then. That's a fine use of uh, two houses worth of space, I think. I'm good with that. Remember the tavern. But like why bad egg, why? What's the what's the function of having the tavern next to the next to the church? What's the reasoning? I need more. I need more info. This should go up fast. There's enough people available to help, so it should go up fairly quick. Citizen needs. Right. Come on, come on. You sin, then you go to church. <laughs> Send wife to church. Go have a beer. 
So I'm going to reassign a family to this and just let them run amok. And now we can actually start upgrading some of these houses, I think. Oh, the save happened at the same time. Upgrade. We will need four. So we only have two excess timber currently. This should sustain us all winter. I mean, we're, we're definitely sustained all winter at this point, but... Yeah, let's get enough logs going to build a, a bunch more houses in here. Decree of the King! Welcome! How's the performance? It's wonderful. Very, very good. I think I'm getting 120 or so. There you go. There's your, there's your FPS counter. Ooh, interesting. It goes down maybe as I look at the horizon, which makes sense. But generally I'm playing about here, which is like 120 all the time. Yep, my rig is not too crazy. I have a pretty good graphics card, but my CPU is not too crazy. The GPU is a 3070. 3070 Ti? I forget. No, 4070. Ooh, sorry, 4070 Ti. So it's pretty good, but... Walking tours, I haven't done it yet. The natural progression of your booze district. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we should have extra extra space to grow into, and we'll start making money. Let's get all of these upgraded sooner rather than later. Especially while we ha while we have so many people not working jobs, really. We have two families able to just help upgrade all of the houses. Yeah, Decree of the King. I think I had 100 citizens yesterday, about. Because eventually everything goes really, really fast. It all kind of snowballs. Um, at least that's the experience I had yesterday. Feel free to grab from here so I can use this. If there were a connection to this, I'd, I'd do it, but I don't think they care. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Upgrades indeed. Oh, this is done. Cool, we have a single level two building which will start making us money. And we have this trading post which is not being used at all yet. But that's okay. We've got space to grow into. Six timber, another one. Let's get all of the houses we have upgraded to level two. Here's the difference, by the way. You can see that it's shingles rather than whatever that is, straw, I guess. We'll consume a family though, I know. We need more, we need more everything. Oh, we need to be ready for winter next year too. What are we gonna farm? Do we go for uh, rye? Is rye, can anyone answer, is rye just another form of, of emmer? Are they both wheat? Wait. A fine thatch. Thank you, Kondo. It is a fine thatch, indeed. I've noticed we haven't really been robbed since we increased our army. So that's pretty cool. Check the tech tree. Uh, we have one unlock, I think. Ah, okay. The farms. The... Brr. Trade logistics, foreign suppliers. Up past the apples. Irrigation. Rye cultivation. Unlocks rye crop for fields. Oh, can be processed into flour. How many do we have? Because this would, would be really, really good, actually. Let's do that, because that'll be a better option. Unless we want to double, double the capacity of all the berry deposits? What? Passive income of meat. Beekeeping makes honey, charcoal, basic armor making. Oh, okay. I see. Making stuff. Depends on your ground, what you can grow. Yeah, we checked that earlier. Uh, rye is the best option. Apple orchard. Oh, cool. But they suck for three years. Yeah. Ron, welcome in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very happy. This, this game has been great. 
Thank you. Sheep breeding is just its own thing. Sheep grazing on pastures slowly multiply, and that's good because we can make clothes out of them, which is good. Apples are expensive. If I were going to do this, it would just be to get rye cultivation. I wish it would say how many, uh, how many things we have. There's nothing there. Right. No, I, I don't want to do orchardry. I'm, I don't want to build it until we're a little further in. Oh, we have one development point. So I'm going to wait till we have two to make a decision because I'm not actually going to do any of these yet. It says I have one. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. We got 13 regional wealth. We're doing great. I don't know if we're actually doing great, but it would be nice to have rye. Hey, there we go. Settlement level increased. New development point. Well, let's do it. I'm going to do rye because we should have... Uh... Oh, droughts. I didn't consider that's a thing. Let's do rye fields and let's make some decisions on where that is going to be. Rye fertility, because this is the only fertile, really fertile resource that we have. It would be perfectly reasonable to do one up here. I think. This one, we still need the berries and the stone, and I <clears throat> and I don't want to mess up the forest. Uh, I don't know. Down down here is the is the obvious like super winner, right? Do not do too big fields. What? Check check where the windmill does well. Like to see if this is legit. Cause this is probably it's it's uh where there's no buildings around, I believe, is where the is where the windmill is good. Farming. Windmill. 99% efficiency in this posi position. So that's super duper. Uh if there's trees, ready? Forest is bad for it. We're going to use that setup there. It's going to be cute. They cannot get them worked before the seasons change. That's okay. They can do it at the beginning of the year. 91, 97. Like, anywhere where there's not forest and buildings, they seem to do well. Even there, they do fine. Anything above 90 is, is quite good, right? That's 88, probably because of the trees. Let's see what the tooltip says, though. Unobstructed by buildings or trees is what it wants. Yeah. Oh, Pax, thank you. I appreciate it. That's very kind. So you cheered 100. What an overachiever Pax is. Thank you. Got it. Rye. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking here. Cuboid, thank you. Welcome in. Twitch told me to resub, so I resubbed. That's a that's a good reason. What a good reason. Q, great job. Fine work. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing good. Hope things have been good. Guys, Cuboid is the developer of uh of the old uh the old thing. You know the one. Move it. That's what I'm looking for. I'm thinking we consolidate all this action down here. Cat Sunder, welcome in. Let's see. By decree of the king, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Yeah, performance has been good. Thank you for asking. Poplar Ponderosa in the house. Hello. Thank you. I really tried. You really did. Go for about 2.5. But, like, why? Is there... Do we have rhyme and or reason to such things at this point, or are we just making it up? Is this too large, then? Whoa, Pax, thank you for hooking up everybody. Those of you that just got uh, uh, gifted subs, feel free to thank the Pax. Very kind gesture. I see 2.2, and I like it. And then another one matching on the side here. And we see how that does. Only size you've seen suggested so far. Pax, thanks again. Thanks for all the support. Appreciate you. 
Oh, farming. Yep. I might buy, once we have room for another ox, I'm going to have a bunch of oxen available all the time. Rye fertility. Seems nice and clean, right? There can only be one ox per field. Very good, very good. Well, this one should probably be a bit longer. 54% for rye. This is the best field I've done in this game so far. That's not saying much. I mean, we can... Ah, that's about 2.5. Pretty good. 2.4 is the new 2.5. Seems efficient enough, right? And then the farm can go perhaps here-ish. Something like that. Can they walk through this to get to the fields? Oh, or it could go across the street here. We'll have to get a network that goes through the, the trees for a proper direct connection. Ooh, that's not bad. It's a good a good way to, to tuck the building away. We'll destroy these three trees, but I'm also not so worried about it. Or here is good. For aesthetic reasons. Not sure walking through. Get burgage plots for the farmers. Does it actually let you determine where people work? Or is it just they work at the closest place? Or I like that. Do you think so? Hmm, interesting. Goodness gracious. Oh, there is a connection here. Invisible though it may be. There is a connection. It's also probably the fastest way. Pax, you saw the helmet, right? Have you gone to the Ren Fair? MD Renfest? Super. So that's a quicker route to the fields, rather than going all the way to the center over here, I think. I gotta believe. You saw the helmet though, right? I, I told Snapback Pretty, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing for 99% of the year, but on the on the week that we go to Renfest, on the, on the day we go to Renfest, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this that day. Other than that, I have no idea where this is gonna go. Uh, it's clearly a decoration, but it's, like, way too heavy to be a decoration. Insanity. Well, now this makes me think that that's the path. Or maybe here. We can do sheep down here as well. There it is. Right through the woods. Wear it? I, I will wear it. But it's, as you might imagine, it's really quite awful to wear. <laughs> It's very well made and very awful to, to wear. Marin, I don't know. If you ask really nice in like an hour, maybe I'll do it. But I did it fairly recently. And I don't want to do it again. I'll be, I'll be honest. This is a granary, right? Ooh. Well, what do you think? We do a granary down... We do the granary down here too? A couple farmhouses along the way. But then they'll be so far from all their stuff. I don't really know how the goods are going to flow here. MK, I know I'd be silly to just wear the helmet, right? I don't want to be a weirdo. You know? Why why would I why would I risk looking strange? Whoa, we are we are getting deep into the woods at this point. The trees absolutely disappeared here. This is heavier than it looks. 
Yeah, it is heavier than it looks, I'm sure. I believe you. We have so many logs there, and this is prime spot for houses. This is also prime spot for houses. Maybe we do a set on this side and a set on the other side. Because this is looking like a new settlement. As I look at it, we're, we're looking at a whole new area over here, probably. Can we substitute the helmet? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Let's actually make this the highest priority. And yeah, they, they won't be able to work the field in time, but that's okay. We are, we're going to have a lot of stuff. I forget what fence up does. Oh, you can use it as a pasture so you can, you can put sheep on it, etc. It's funny that some sections of road are skinnier. It depends if a house is facing it or not, but like this one, the house is facing that way, like up. They stole the meat. They're always doing this. Try not to draw on the King's Road? Maybe. The snapping is really annoying in that regard. Not so cool. <laughs> Freddy, welcome in. Looks like CS2 years ago. Something like that. You, you can disable it, but it doesn't affect anything is the, is the problem. Here, I think these might be priority, like getting a few more, getting a few more leveled up houses, because those are going to give us more gold than anything we can export at this point. If this goes out on a radius, which I think it will, this air, these trees, once these are gone, this will, this will all go back to the clay, which will be good. Spend those logs to free area. I'm trying. I don't think we can tell them to spend them. I also have three families, I know. Yeah, it's going to be great for farming in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's a way to prioritize which logs get spent. Amazing girl, thanks for being here, and thank you for telling Pax thank you. A lot of kindness. A lot of kindness. So let's try this. The snap to roads is turned on currently, but let's just see. Let's see what we can see. Not enough goods. So right now the problem is going to be that we can't, we don't have enough logs to do it. This will get used for something. I, don't, I just don't know what yet. Once these are gone, I do plan on putting more houses here. I think. I think. My uh, my teapot looks a lot like the... <laughs> Here, let's do a comparison real quick. Which one is the teapot and which one is the helmet? Let's see if you can tell the difference. One one of these is a, is a teapot. One of them is a medieval helmet. The similarities are astounding. Um, the keen The keen-eyed among you will know the difference, but... If you can't tell the difference, I don't blame you, because they are quite similar. <laughs> anyway, we'll just... Yeah, that's good. <laughs> How fun. It's definitely stainless steel, this helmet. It's got to be. <laughs> Poor T with the helmet on. What? Pax, no. Oh, no. To play with the helmet on? I won't be able to hear. The farm can take eight families. I know. We don't need eight families at, at a time, though. We'll have enough time. We can prep it during the... Uh... It is heavy. Pax, feel free to refund yourself that. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I can't do it. What do you think it weighs 20 pounds? No, 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 no. More like 
More like, more like seven or eight pounds. Coretto, welcome in. How are you? Finally, we're doing it. Here we are. It's on. It's happening. We're going to upgrade all these. You want to see the manager? Oh, wait, it's me. No, Pax, I appreciate your interest in me wearing the helmet, but it's like, it's like hard. Coretto, look at this. Yeah, the visor flips up. It's just like, I won't be able to hear. Look what Hooded Horse sent. This is absurd. They were like, hey, do you want a helmet? And I'm like, yeah. I didn't think it would be like... Like, you hear that, right? There's like leather insert inside so it doesn't sit directly on your head. But yeah, I didn't expect this. And it smells like motor oil. It's like the thing is greased up. It is greased up. Dude, it's crazy, yeah. Very, very cool. Crazy nonetheless. There we go. There's the final the final log. So I guess we'll have a separate setup over here, except for maybe church and tavern. They can come into town for the, tur the church and, t and tavern, I guess. Yeah, Knickknack, it's great. The demo was great too, though. I have yet to experience much that's different from the demo. Still not enough stable space, which is weird. This poor family in the rain. Ah, stuff. Oh, Pax, that would be great. I would do that, absolutely. Yumblecorp Renfair meetup. Why in the world not? Something just happened and I couldn't see it. The farmhouse is finished. I'm thinking two families can work the fields for now. Oh, great, it did take the two closest families. Or at least the the families that are constructing it. Okay. And we've done rye on both. Rye on both. Oh, have fun. Thank you. The best yumble I've ever seen. That Well, that's, that's encouraging. If I weren't, I'd be a little concerned. I'd be wondering who else is masquerading as, as a yumble. Thank you. Have fun. Hope you're doing well. Hope things are good. So now, priority, requirements not met. Oh, shoot. Yeah, what do, what do they need? Tavern, church, extra clothes. Winter is approaching. Also. We've got food for 18 months and fuel for 14 months. I think they use twice as much fuel in the winter. But it's okay. We'll get a bit of plowing done. I think the plowing will hold. Unless I'm wrong. I might also be wrong. Who knows? Nobody knows. Requirements not met. Oh. Fuel stall, food stall, clothing stall. There's no food? This place doesn't... These guys don't have food? I'm not convinced. There are many types of food and clothes. New family moved in. Good. Told you about market distance. What do you mean? You don't think that that's close enough that their needs are met? I mean, why would their clothing stall supply be met? Why would their water access... Oh, well, market supply here. Let's see what this says. Nothing. <laughs> so the fuel stall is not met. Oh, okay. We could just put another market over here, though. It's going to get weirder the further it is. Right, 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 right. That's fair. Here, just to keep things going. 
upgrade these. We'll build a few more houses in a moment, but we'll make more money. We can buy more oxen if we upgrade more houses. We don't really have stuff to export as far as I know. Unless we sell berries. Planks would be okay to sell. Planks wouldn't be too bad. Because they don't have cars. They're definitely mad that they don't have cars, but it's very confusing because they don't know why they're mad. Oh yeah, and if we have money, we can throw in vegetables too. Add some variety to their diet. At least a little bit. Well, what do you say? Build build some houses down here for these folks? Maybe right on right along the woods here. I like that. Rev Brown, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Ahoy. Avast. Fuel stall, food stall, clothing stall. Yeah, maybe this is a bit far from the market and they just need a separate little market up here. Yet in the house? What's up, Yet? How are you? Interchange tutorials. Unfortunately, grade separation hasn't been invented yet in this game, except for rivers, I think. Rivers and bridges. That would be considered a grade-separated crossing. Why do I have to carry this alone? All right, level two. We need a second form of clothes. It would be very cool to get some sheep in here, I think. Which would be very cool, right? They're going. I mean, there's some amount of plowing getting finished here. I'm thinking a third ox is going to be the move sooner rather than later. Requirements not met. Yeah, I know. Oh, the fuel stall supply is not is not okay. The firewood stall is just not within range of you. It was within range a minute ago. And you're okay. Well, your needs are also not met, but you don't mind because you're level one. Do I do I then allow them to build maybe a tiny market over here in the woods? Or a market on the corner here? Like just a few little spots for these families. Well, let's see. Ah, I wish these would go away. Because I want to build houses here, ultimately. And then we can put a market up here for all these houses. Roundabouts it is, yes. More fuel? You don't think it's the actual distance. It seems sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't. Because now this one's supplied. Fuel. I mean, I can add more families up here. We do have the, the family edge to do it. As soon as this says 20, we're buying another ox. That's all I know. Alright. More woodcutters, then. Charcoal exists. Yeah, but they but they only need one type of thing, right? And also, where does charcoal come from? Is that a... Probably an industry? Or is it a gathering? Charcoal. Converts one firewood into two coal, making it twice as efficient. Oh, that's kind of nice. We don't have the we don't have development points right now because we already spec'd into rye, but that's okay. They serve the closest first. Maybe they're not getting to the last house before the closer one needs to refill. Maybe uh, a second family for the storehouse would be okay too. Either way, more oxen would be a good move, I believe. Well, we can fit a few houses here. Let's see what we can... If we can get two, I think I'd go for it. Oh, and there is a there is a road connection to this. Maybe that is affecting things. Did that not exist before? So like I said, two houses would do it. That 
dumb thing is right in the way. It's a bit funky. This It's snapping in a weird way. It's not snapping to road or something like that, but it is behaving a little bit strangely. Hey, settlement level increased. Well, what do you think? Do I go charcoal then? New development point? Could be cool. Rye, 54%, 62%. And there's some amount of the way done plowing. I think that the plowing will hold till next year, right? Whatever progress they make, they can pick up pick up when they left off or pick up where they left off next year. Oh, Joe, thank you. I appreciate it. You're ref refusing to watch anything about it. Oh, well, thank you for subscribing anyway. I appreciate it, Joe. It it's very good. I haven't really done anything that I didn't do in the demo, though, I'll be honest, at this point. We are logging. We just need more... As soon as we get 20 from our regional wealth, we need we need to get... We need to be getting more... Uh, more oxen, I think. What are the families building? Oh, I guess they're building this first, probably. And it's taking a long time to get the logs because this is taking a while. Oh, champion sounds. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Move your woodcutter down to the log logging camp, please. Well, we have six excess timber currently. So that, that six timber is in excess of... We have 14 timber in total. You think we're not creating logs fast enough? Oh, the storehouse is full. That's actually a huge problem. Here it is. Yeah, that stinks. Let's, uh, let's upgrade the large storehouse. How much storage does the woodcutter have? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so, move them down to logging, you think? Uh, I'm not going to move them down to logging. I'm just going to let them build, because we have, we have a few building projects happening. We can go charcoal. We can go charcoal. Have we conquered lands yet? No, Nardwell. No, no such, no such anything has been taken. No such action. Oh, we got twenty-five gold though, so now we can buy another ox. We have three oxen again, in theory. It still says not enough stable space, which kind of stinks. Maybe a reload is in order that doesn't go away because we do have four spaces for them yeah let's let them build and just get this going because we don't have any room to grow into yet logging goes right to woodcutter then to charcoal not much transport well what do you think go charcoal A woodcutter stores as much wood as a woodcutter can store. But how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? 50 is pretty good. Since this already seems to be some sort of industry plot, maybe we do charcoal here. If we like that. So that's a good move. You think the woodcutter is cutting their own wood? I don't know what that means. I hope they are, though. I hope they are. Oh, the third ox is on its way. Not the best trade option, but it reduces your deforestation. Yeah. You think they got the logs from logging? Well, the logs... The logs come from... The... the me, me. What are these called? The firewood produced by trees is totally separate from the timber produced by logging. Is all I know. That's all I know for sure.
This one still says there's no fuel. Are they dying? There we go. No supply? Or is it just that we need an additional family to operate some of these things? All right, the firewood stall is empty. This firewood stall has some. Leather is fine. I think it's more of a... More of a not enough people to run the storehouse type issue. Or out of space issue. Does that make sense? More workers at the woodcutter? Market supply is just weird. It's not the distance though, right? This one does say no food, no fuel, no problem. I say we hire more people to, to fill this thing and see if it fixes things. Because it doesn't seem anyone's died, right? Is there a way to tell? I don't know. I know nothing. I like that two families are building currently. And I like that we theoretically have three. Oh, we lost six firewood. Oh, no. No food stalls, no cry. The further it is, the harder it is for them to fulfill needs. Well, adding a family at the woodcutter is an okay idea, but I think combining that with adding a family at the large storehouse is probably about what we need to do. I think. Just so things move. Because maybe things just aren't moving the way they should. Or rather, we have a lot of fuel, so we don't need more fuel. We need... We need... Smoking, I don't know. That's a good question. If there's firefighting in this game, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's imagine that we just need another employee at the storehouse and hope for the best. We totally have enough stable space. I don't know what their problem is. Doesn't the well-mentioned firefighting? It did, yeah. But I don't know if that's... Oh, if you don't have water wells, you can have fire. Ah, cool. Yeah, I haven't seen it happen in the game yet. But that may not mean anything. I hadn't seen us lose an ox either, and we lost an ox today. That's how it goes. It's the way of things. As soon as they want to finish this, I'm into it. All right, large storehouse is done. Adding a second... Oh, there we go. They they opened up a stall. Instantly, they opened a stall. Well, what do you think? Charcoal? Let's go charcoal. Why not? I don't know if it solves anything. I don't know if it helps. I did it. It's too late now. It's already done. Construction. Industry. Gathering. Charcoal kiln. Oh, it's huge. I guess it can go out next to the next to the thing here. Chark all the coals. We're going to get charked. We got 10 timber. Keep these upgrading as well. So we can make more and more money as time passes. Because we really don't... I don't think we have enough of anything to do exporting yet. It was awesome, Coretto. I should have put some pictures in the Discord. But yeah, it was really, really good. Good trip to New Hampshire. Got to see... Like, there's something about seeing where you're from. Unless where you're from haunts you and it's terrible. But where I'm from is, like, kind of nice, just very small. I'm from northern New Hampshire, a town called Lancaster. It's really good. Did Slam go? I didn't see him, no. I, I hung out with uh, my aunt, a.k.a. his mom, but uh, we were all there for the eclipse. Basic goods are not worth exporting. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There's a game mood that... Let, yeah, you can play without combat as well. I keep getting robbed. That's my only crime, is I get robbed frequently. Eight timber. 
Nine timber. I could assign one of these to uh, to work here exclusively. Seems like we're doing okay, all, all things considered. We could use more regional wealth to buy one more ox. Wouldn't be so bad. Let's actually prioritize this. You need a forester to plant trees? Yeah, but I actually see a lot of trees, so I'm not that worried about running out of trees. If it comes to, like, eventually we'll have to avoid the berry patch. Oh, we can build the, uh, once we have 25 gold, we can also build herbs. New family. That'll be the charcoal family. Oh, and this is done, finally. My goodness. Remove that dumb little road, and we can add more houses along the street here. Make another sort of block. Because we got 13 houses of space, 11 timber. We got families moving in. You're pulling this the wrong way. I guess they're going to store it in this building. Are you going over here? Yeah, cut the corner, please. Hippie ideas around here. I just think I just think there's a lot of woods and we don't have that many extra families and we're also going to be probably adding another family or two to do this farm. Which begs the question, do I add a whole nother setup down here? Might that be the move? Oh, these guys are solved by the way. Adding another Adding an extra storehouse family did a did a good job there. Let's do the kiln. Hopefully they prioritize the charcoal. If this is what we're doing. And hopefully they pull from here too. That would be neat. Totally convo. Yeah, I, I can see us running out of forest eventually. So on a long enough timeline, that becomes a problem. But for now... It's okay. And the second we need stone, we have to we have to get on this, which will just be a little hut around here or something. The church requires stone to upgrade. That's a good reason. It requires stone and... Dude, shut up. You don't know anything. You don't know what you like. The firewood disappears. The charcoal appears. The charcoal gets brought... Down down here, I guess. They, I guess they exported it on their own. Unless this guy's grabbing it. Transporting firewood... Once again, you don't know anything. You don't know what you need. We need more houses, though, I will I will admit. What do we have wood for? Can we do, like, three new houses? Four? Enough to fill this space. How much is it? I don't even remember. Two? Two for a regular house? Oh, perfect. Wonderful. This road can kind of mimic the road below it a little bit, and we'll just fill in this space. Keep your half warm and your home cozy. Great. There's no such thing as road hierarchy here. More connections, the better. Not all houses need to be with back shop. Um, well, it's nice, though, because they can be farms, Bookie. They can be whatever we want. The plot with the church is better for housing. Oh, well, 
I'm not going to move the church. I'm not going to demolish it. Kind of small for effective farms. Well, are you... So, I understand what you're saying, but from a game mechanic standpoint... It'd be fun to see a traffic jam of oxen. Absolutely. So we've got 12 spots. Oh, Burgage plot level 2 is done. So we should be making good money in a little bit here. Requirements not met. Food, st food stall supply not met. So perhaps we need an extra family at the granary now? Larger plots produce more vegetables. Is that true? Is that how it works? Ooh, is it worth buying one more ox? We got another family. Or should I start growing something or, or making, uh, allowing hides to exist out of here? Like, we can do goats. You have to tell them to... No, I, I know, guys. I've played this. I've played it. I've played it. I know. I know. I know. I realize. It's just, I don't know what I want them all to do yet, because it's nice to do the baker. Like, you can do the baker in the backyards, and it works twice as fast as the other things. Which is cool. I think the food stall supply thing is because we need one more family to run the granary. I'm betting. I could be wrong, though. One huge plot? I don't know. That's a good question. Just dedicated. The finest hide Keep your half warm. 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 It's a bit unfortunate that the storehouse is over here and the, the kiln is here. And all the firewood is probably getting pulled into the storehouse. And they're probably walking down here to grab firewood from the storehouse like her. Yep. Charcoal burner transporting firewood. I don't know if it's worth it to just build a second storehouse right across from it. I actually don't know how much charcoal is being used. Check if the charcoal family is selling charcoal. No. No, it's not. We might need another family in the storehouse then to sell. Well, now we're stocking charcoal at least. And they should automatically build it with a little bit of luck. Maybe. Make a storehouse and set that only to fuel. Yeah, but then it costs a family to operate it. Keep your half warm and your home cozy. No, it's okay. We still have very good... Like, we have 69% thumbs up, which is about as good as you can ask for. It's great passive income. It's just this one also. I think the rest of them are okay. It's just that one. It's because it's because they're cowards. That's why. No food, no clothes. Cowards. A lot of them. We need more people, and we need more people operating these things, I suspect. They stole 11 firewood. Crazy. How big did the army get? It's still growing, I think. 20 out of 36, so we're up to the max in terms of sh shields and stabbers. The people are very happy, other than the fact that they're missing some stuff. Why do I have to carry this stuff? If they can, the charcoal family would also be selling. It Apparently they can't. Right? Crafting, transporting... It's interesting that they choose to pull from here also. I guess it was kind of a role play decision to put that up here. So it's so it's not right next to the town, but it probably doesn't matter. Oh, and see now this one's fine. I'm just I'm just doing it. We're upgrading all these. I wonder if they use additional resources. Probably not a good move to upgrade all these. 
<laughs> That's the takeaway. Not super smart. Well, uh, we want the money, though. A bandit camp was sighted. They're popping up like weeds. Where are they now? Where are you, bandits? There's one. That's the new one. Plenty of bandits to kill when we're uh, when we're good and ready, I guess. One, two, three. I don't know if they're all in league together or if they're all separate entities, but there's three bandit camps on the map currently, which means we're probably getting raided all the time. Kill them? Should I? Can, can I? How do I tell? Well, let's see. Effectiveness, 99%. Let's see what effectiveness these camps have. 99%. 100%. Well, time to get a bowyer. A bowyer. How do we get that? That's the question. That is the question. Build. It seems like it's an industry. Is it just an artisan? Add on to plot. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. The bowyer enables production of war bows. I wish I could see what it takes to make them, though. Like, what does it cost? Right, it costs four planks. That's to upgrade it. Right, right, right. It costs planks to make them as well? Is that, is that true? Is that where we're at? I'm going to put them right across the street from the storehouse, because that's where the planks are. So that's the upgrade. I'm going to take your word for it that it costs four planks to make war bows. I'm going to upgrade this, but then what does it... That's not the upgrade cost? Oh. There we go. So we... Are you sure? Because it looks like it costs four planks to make it. We're all about to learn something, I think. Whole lot of transporting, whole lot of walking back and forth for these folks. Oh, we have zero families right now, too. These guys seem to be building the, their thing, though. Cool. Production focus. Multiple types of goods. Interesting. So now we can make a bow boy. A, a walled brand, if you will. And we'll see. So what is this? Spear Militia, walled brand. Is everything a walled brand? Oh, walled brand is the place. <laughs> it's the place I'm from. It's the place I am. That's my district. Yeah, I understand. Well, they don't have armor, but they definitely are going to eventually have bows. Oh, the Fletcher's shop, of course. Not enough wealth. Well, we're doing it. It's all happening. Can't build anything right now, though. Cool, so it puts structures in the back. A new message. Another ruler's army was sighted? Raiders near. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? Track their movements. 365 days. Or we'll be ready. Track their movements. We want we want 365 days. So we're, we just hit the two-year mark is what that actually means, I think. It would be good to have an additional ox. I got an idea. Add another ox. Dedicate an ox to the farm. Oh, we can't do that yet, can we? Shoot. We can't do that yet. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to want them anyway. I'll be attacked in 365 days. Time to crack some head. It's, it's clobbering time. That's what time it is. We need more families to move in. 
Good thing we got those bows. It is a good thing. It's a good thing. I don't know if they've actually made any bows yet. Oh, they have. Good. And a new family moved in. We need the, we needed them, so good. And we have a bit of surplus, so we've got two extra plots for people to move in at. Nothing happened? Oh, interesting. I bet it buys you a year. I'm sure that they don't want people getting blasted. Like, they don't they don't want people who are used to building cities to, to be blasted in their first year or whatever, their first couple years. So we, we'll need a tavern eventually, and we'll need additional clothes. The clothes will be probably sheep. It would be reasonable to put sheep down here eventually. Some is coming soon. We don't have any development points, but that's all right. Ooh, the uh, plowing progress is still zero. And it's going to take them a really long time to walk out here to do it. Get to work. Tier two clothes can be done by the cobbler. Really? Which is just leather? Oh, good. Good, good, good. They can be intercepted by other lords? Interesting. Well, so, Bookie, shouldn't I wait till I have soldiers? Because right now we have six bows, seven bows. Like, let's, let's get some more people and some more bows, and then we'll have 20 spears and 20 bows, and then we will... Mm -hmm. And then we will. We need more people to move in. We need more of everything. Correct, Bookie. Yeah, I agree. It's just our strength is probably not there. I would... I would venture, venture to guess. And we'll do a communal oven eventually, too. Probably, uh, communal oven could go down here, actually, and it would be made very quickly, and then it would be carted up in groups of ten. Makes sense. We've logged, we've logged and logged and logged. This will be the next area to go. So I imagine we'll move the logging camp probably uh, somewhere around here. All right, we got four oxen now, which is plenty for what we're doing. All the stables are centralized over here, so maybe we'll put a stable down down here, and eventually we'll use an ox to, to plow the fields once we have that unlocked, because that's an option. Set the target area to the new place? Yeah. But if we... If oxen are left alone, they'll pull all the logs over here. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Here, let's... Let's do it. Oh, another ruler's army was sighted. I'm thinking like about there. I wouldn't mind if it if it overlaps with some of the trees up north. Just a little. Or really this is the scene. I know, Convo, yeah, I've got I've got different people saying different things. My initial idea was to relocate the logging camp for efficiency, and then somebody said do the thing, and it's like uh Whatever, whatever's faster. Relocating it is very quick in reality, but I wish I had more families available. That's, that's where we're at is more fam We need more families available to convert them into artisans and whatnot. And the not enough stable space thing is a bit of an annoyance, right? Just a little bit. Should I be concerned about not having enough farmers is the other question. This is actually the high priority field. This is the highest priority because it's the largest. The highest efficiency is over here. Solve, address at least. Right, 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 right. Is my stable connected with the road? My stable, you're talking about these? I think so. They're built on the road. Yeah, they're connected.
Summer's coming soon. Yeah, I think another family there is reasonable. And we should have another family move in any time now because we've got two additional houses and no building projects at the moment. When the time comes, we'll we'll move... Uh, we'll reconstruct the windmill. I like this. This is charming. But there's already a little setup down here. Sheep would be good. Or we do the other thing. The, we need more families either way. That's kind of job one right now. It's more families. Because we do have enough food and fuel to last. And we got a bit of charcoal. Another ru ruler's army was sighted here. Oh yeah, let me know... I guess I'll have to learn combat, huh? That's fine. Well, perhaps it was 14 out of 36. These things do happen from time to time. Hey, a new family moved in. Oh, we should be we should be harvesting this too, shouldn't we? I might add an herb garden as well, just in case. Zoom out to see. They're close. Yeah, I guess. Passing in the upper right. Oh, Oh no, 36 and 36. What do I do? I don't have the people for this, depending on what type of unit they are, I guess. But I'm just guessing. I'm just making that up. Light mer the green caps. So this is this is homeboy. They aren't inherently hostile. Well, good. They're they're hiking towards the uh, the bandit camp down here. Rally the troops. They've not declared war. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice if they took the roads. Because nobody really likes hiking through the woods. Especially when you're in armor. Yeah. We just need more families to move in. I think that's kind of where we're, where we're actually at. Are we out of berries? We may even still have berries. Yeah, we have so many berries. We can harvest more berries, but we have many. Woods might be less muddy. Oh, maybe. I don't know if that's like a game developer thing or if that's like a... That's just what's happening. Let's see what we can get away with here. I'm cool with that. Ooh. Hmm. Let's do that. less likely to be spotted. Yeah, but back in the day, it wasn't really about not being spotted, it seems. It was about taking your army and lining them up, facing each other. <laughs> another another ruler's army was sighted, yeah. I think they're just passing through. Whoa. Green caps. It's all, it's all homeboy, it's all the guy I'm supposed to kill. Right? Need silver. Can you help fund me? I'm here to end you. Could you help me out, please? Do me a solid. Another ruler's army was sighted over and over and over. Summer's coming soon. They slow you down. They aren't expecting to fight midway. So when I raise my army... 14, 15. One second. 
Okay, they've already picked up their spears and bows and things then. So they have to go grab their stuff from there. Hmm. It will give 150 gold if we go and beat up the, the homies. Family member joined. Why? You can't be mad. Food stall, clothing stall. We've got it all, buddy. We've got everything you could possibly want. Just leather, though. Hmm. I see. Well, shall I upgrade one family to be an artisan, then? One additional family to make some sort of clothes out of the leather? Because I think we have a bunch of leather. 15 is fine if you take the high ground. Some Obi-Wan advice. Do we want... Do we want cobbler stuff? Do we want to make shoes? Do shoes count as clothes? Do they need... Would that satisfy these people? If we start making some shoes? Is that a good move? It actually works here? Nice. Spears and sidearms. Oh, the blacksmiths. We don't have malt yet. We also don't have any armor for our people. But we also don't have basic armor making either. Oh, cloaks. Here we go. That would be the one, right? A cobbler will improve approval. I mean, why not? Well, which one? Armorer? Do we go shoes or clothes? Shoes, clothes. Tailor or cobbler? Tailor or cobbler? I'm going to I'm going to dedicate one family, one cobbler. I know is leather, not sure on the tailor. Soldier, spy? I don't know. I don't know how things work. I guess we'll do shoes. It's done. We just lost another family. I wonder where it pulls these from, because I haven't been checking to see... Or it, maybe it just pulls it from the unassigned. That must be it. Tailor needs cloth? Well, let's find out. Burgage plot level one. Hold on. Unassigned family. Oh, because these aren't finished yet. Ah. Well, we'll get to it when we get, when we get to it. A family is going to move in any minute. Sheep wool weaver. Let's find out. I, I heard leather because it's... Well, okay. Taylor probably needs... Yes. They probably need either flax or... Large shield, spears. You'll not find fine ways anywhere else. Praying, transporting. Leather, leather, perfect for boots, belts, and well, anything really. They're probably also going to construct a spot in the marketplace, I would assume. So right now our clothing is busted, right? That's the problem. We can get into wool too. I think we just need more families. That's kind of the whole thing, is we, we need more families, and we have the living space for it. Oh, clothing stall is built. Are you solved? Food and clothing still not solved. We probably need more families working at the storehouse. Let's assume... Let's assume that we don't need extra woodcutters anymore. I'm just going to unassign them. Let's assume that these guys will take over somehow. I guess. Food and clothing. Always more families. We don't have sheep breeding yet. Yet. 
I'm going to assign one more to the large storehouse. Kiln requires wood. We have wood. We have 229 wood. We have so much wood. We got runway. What month are we in? April. It's behind me. They just built a firewood stall. Have they finished sowing fields? Certainly not. No. We're, we're doing... We're plowing. But I got three families. Oh, so the bandits are kind of a... Are they kind of a cash cow? Is that what's going on? The bandits are a good way to, to make money. Is that why he's going all the way over there? Because he likes it? Nine timber. We lost 12 firewood by the nearby bandits. That's their name, is the nearby bandits. That's what they're called. Summer's coming soon, and soon the beating sun. Plowing's almost done. This field is priority, so this field they'll get to when they get to, I think is how it works. Get coins from their camps. Nice. The Baron hasn't pressed any claims yet. I don't think he does. I think it's I think it's up to me to to go after him. Though I'm not convinced we have the ability yet. Summer's coming soon. Soon. We need more people. More family. Oh, they did it. They created death. Oh, there's more of them. Well, they did it, I guess. That's that. They turned their tents into nothing. You keep saying that. Food stall, clothing stall. assigned family too. Perhaps we have enough planks. Let's assume we have enough planks. Go build houses. Oh, you get influence from defeating bandits. That I did not know. I've never factored in influence at all. I'm thinking we need an additional uh, worker at the granary. And we also haven't been doing any berries this year, but we have so many. The song's a bop. More families, more families. Need a thousand influence? Well, we have plenty. I think we get 500 from building a manor whenever whenever we decide to do a manor. Seems like we're at 72% thumbs up. So we shouldn't have an issue with families moving in. Right? How's sewing? 50%. The tier 2 church, which requires clay and stone. Yeah, clay is easy enough. We just need more people, really. That's that's the entire bottleneck, is we need more workers. And we have the houses. We've got 17. We've got two additional houses ready to go. Somehow we're not able to keep up, keep up with food. I really think it's a, a granary employment issue. 
new mercenary companies available. New family started moving in. You can work here. We're at a bit of a deficit with workers because the forager hut is unemployed and the saw pit is unemployed too. These two places are both none. They don't have workers. But we're making gold. Let's build another oxen uh, holder. There's a better name for that. Let's build another hitching post. <laughs> You know, the oxen holder. I'm thinking down here on the corner. Fresh meat. Quality. Get your fresh meat here. Possible. No finer cuts in all the How long is the other field coming? Uh, it's not been worked on because we did this one as high priority. So, like I say, let's get the, the the higher yield one, the one with higher fertility, and it's also larger. Let's finish that one, and we'll see if we can get any out of this one. But I do think that's the, the best way to do it. I put this one on highest and left this one on medium priority. So this is, they're going to get to it now, but it's not, it's probably not going to grow in time. They'll do their best. And we can steal some families back from this, potentially. I think. We're also not harvesting fuel right now, so, so, uh, but it's okay. We have a lot of fuel, and we're making charcoal out of that fuel. They're walking it back and forth. Which month? May. Here, let's, uh, let's resolve that. Sorry about the music. One second. There you go. That should help, right? Ta-da. Yep, I got you. We do it all here. Here at Yumble Corp. Berries, berries. What's the horse? What are the horses for? We just need more families. This is at 8% growth. This one is not done being plowed. This one is going to have terrible yield. But the big field is priority, and really we just have to let more people move in anyway. That's all there is to it. You're pulling this back over there, I guess? Okay. That's meat, fine. Meat. Get your meat. Fresh meat. Get your fresh meat here. Ooh, we need no two planks. Are we not making planks? We are not making planks. We're just behind on people in general. We we need we need people moving goods. Oh, okay. Well, these are happy as of right now. They're okay. We do have twenty-three timber. We have an abundance of timber. Oh, they're for trading routes. Okay. Like if we decide to be proactive. And we're at 77% approval. So our approval is fairly high. We finally have enough people running market stalls. I think. Oh, the charcoal kiln has opened a, a stall as part of it. Well, good for them. It would be nice if we could limit the firewood stall. Oh, the firewood stall stocks both. Lovely. Very good. Very, very good. I'm fine with that. Take your pick. And you're picking up charcoal. Transporting charcoal. Ten, ideally. So we're planting in May. We're planting in May. We're sowing the fields. The good news is all three families are sowing the field, but what's the yield going to be over here? I don't know. Not good. This one's at 12% already. 
Unless sewing just happens very, very quickly. We can also have a rye field up here too, I believe, if we want. We have the stuff for it. We have the uh, fertility for it. We need more families. So meat. desperately. Meat. Get your meat here. So we have 29 war bows. Should I be selling war bows? How do we play Earl? Oh, early? Uh, they gave it to content creators. I think the only answer is be a content creator like months ago. Uh, the game comes out in early access in like a week though, doesn't it? Isn't it like not that far off? Feels like Yield will be bad this year. Hopefully it'll get better next year with a few more families on the farm. Yep. The 26th. Okay, so about... What's that? A week and a half. Comes out in a week and a half. It's good. I haven't explored all of it, but... Warbows seems like a good idea, right? Let's see. Trade. Warbows. They are worth five. Five apiece. As if we need the money. Like, I guess we don't really need the money, but... Seems like not a bad move, right? Use them for war. It's more giving. Okay. Okay, hunt bandits. Well, shall we hunt bandits, then? Is our army ready? Does this even look good? Should I wait until we have a full deck? Th these guys have no shields, by the way. Should we be making shields? Check if you have some other surplus and sell that. Absolutely, yeah. We've got mad berries. We're not even picking the berries. They're just sitting there. Uh, let's build, while we have a free family, let's do another round of houses just to stay ahead of that. For the combat you've seen, you want shields. Even for the archers? Hmm. We're going to face the road here. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh. I think it's too steep. I truly think that this corner is too steep, and we'll just have to use it for some other... For some other application. Come on, laddie, come on. Uh. Uh. Right. 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 On and on. Oh. Five. Let's go. We have enough timber. We have fifteen surplus timber currently. Uh, I mean the steep grade. I believe it's the steep grade of the hill that stops it from building the the plots there. But I think we can we can fit a building near the bottom, or t or even two buildings. It's just the houses are very picky with it. I think. Uh, you can. It's just very the topology is very very small small to look at. Like, it's not... Uh, like, it's there now. It's small to look at. It's very un-visible. Uh, enhance. Enhance. Hmm. This road got out of control pretty quick here. I'm afraid to delete it, because I've seen weirdness before. These houses should go up fairly quick. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Or call it, you see. Please check your avatar. What does he know? You talking about this? Visit mode? Expect glitches? The eye? I know, I see it. Any doubts? No, Nick Knack. No, no, no. I've been on board with this game since the demo. Since before the demo, but the demo solidified... Solidified what I 
suspected was that it would be really, really fun. And it is. That'll work. I don't know exactly what happens in this section here. It's a decent city builder. I'm about to try the fighting, I think, in a little while. How's this going? Yeah, it's going to be a little rough over here, but they're going to prioritize this field, which should have ideal crop growth. No more FPS games? Tour city first? Well, let's... Why aren't more families moving in is my question. Here, chill, chill for a second. Oh yeah, I love how cinematic it looks without the UI. Check this out. Let's get a good shot on it. Boom. I'll be back in just a second. Gotta use the bathroom. The screenshot is really, really nice. Other than the, the little icon of the rock there, it looks basically like what you'd see on the back of a box or something. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, Coretto, I'm also streaming. Funny thing, I haven't been paying attention to the chat because I'm really bad. I'm streaming on, uh, on YouTube as well, but on a super se sneaky secret account. <laughs> If you search Yumble Live, Y-U-M-B-L-I-V-E, I bet it comes up. But yeah, it's the, it's the, nobody knows about it. I haven't really advertised it, but it exists and we're live on there as well. In theory, in practice. Rebuilding, we're building houses. It still says not enough stable space. I don't buy it. I'm also streaming. We started streaming while we stream, just in case. We need more people. Perhaps once the farming season is done, I will steal from the farms. We're sowing in June. Oh, the morale of, mor of militia is also this. How do you spell it? Y-U-M-B-L-I-V-E. Feel free to check. I don't know how YouTube search works for... It's the, f the only content that's ever been featured on Yumble Live. But I'm happy to stream, like, this series, uh, you know, as, as we play this. And once I start up a, a workers and resources, I imagine we'll do a full city build of workers and resources. That, a full, like, republic build. Two. New families moving in, that's what we want. That is what we want. The 
Tanner is going. The saw pit is going. Try the third person view. Yeah, I did it in the demo. That's why I'm not... That's why I don't really worry about it too much. Do we dare get another rocks? Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Here, let's do the third person view then. It works fine here. Oh, here I'm going to save. Uh... Save game number one, sure. Saving finished, huzzah. Bada boom, I'm in. I'm in it to win it. Is the game paused while this is happening? Probably not. Ah, the market, yes. Me, me, Sid, get your meat here. So fresh is practically still mooing. Can I jump? Oh, the cape physics are interesting. Well, the polygons. I'm not a thumb? What do you mean? Yeah, we're going third person. Let's take you to Snurch. Here we go. I'm guessing if it's like the demo, we can just run. Oh, no. In the demo, you could run through walls. You aren't a thumb? Oh, if I were the guy? No, yeah, I'm not the thumb guy. Berries, berries. Oh, okay. The Bash fence, the lady. fence doesn't have collision. So fresh is practically still mooing. Oh, it does. Do these meat fences so have collision? Can I jump? Meat. Meat Can I punch? So I can't punch. Well, that's the Fletcher there. Let's check on the Fletcher. The market ladies have a deep voice. <laughs> Get your meat here. I did think it was cool that that they included so much detail in the buildings. There's the outhouse, I guess. I don't know where the door to get into the house is. Unless it's that. There it is. No? Outhouse. I guess that is the door, but I'm not invited. Excuse me, bowl cut. Oh, the stores are, are real. There's firewood. Awesome. I see no reason to walk anywhere. I'm going to be running. The oxen in the stable. The granary is elevated. There's berries from two years ago. Awesome. The, visit, the militia will leave their equipment around the house. Cool. I don't see it. Uh, what else is worth checking out? I guess the ch the charcoal kiln. This is how you crash the game. Actually, this is probably less taxing than looking from above, because I bet there's less, far less polygons on screen here. Can I throw myself in? Oh, kinda. No collision. I knew there would be collision issues in some spots because that's the demo was like ridden with them. Leather, leather. Taha, tis I, <laughs> tis I, your lord. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, Robin Hood. Chill out, bro. All right. Well, that was fun, right? We do have two families. Not working currently. Let's make it three. Or, mm. Here, let's... While, while I'm thinking of it. Let's rebuild this. Oh, there's houses going up too. <coughs> Excuse me. Almost done. And this could stand to be upgraded. I'm thinking we order another ox. Maximus, thank you. Thanks for resubscribing with the Prime. Appreciate it. Order another ox, upgrade to a small stable, and then make this highest priority. This already has the goods on site. You need that? Oh, yeah. So fresh, it's practically still mooing, they say. I'm feeling, I guess the... 
if this is the center of town, roughly, then the the ale house can go here. You're finished sowing. Now you just wait till harvest. You can put more people on the farm to finish the harvest. Well, so for now, can I steal these back then? Let's leave one just in case I forget. I don't know when harvest begins. The yield is 19 in 67 days. Cool. This yield is zero. So that's cool. Just take it all off. All right. Don't have to ask me twice. Small stable's done, and we got another pony on the way. The pony is actually an ox. So now's the time to build stuff. We got five families. Oh, let's actually put one on berries. It would also be super neat to build the herb garden because we're probably going to need it after everyone dies. In war, do I lose my people? Like, if they die, they die, right? If they die, they're dead. I gotta believe. Yeah, the autosave is a bit rough, but it's okay. September. There's still the kid and wife. Well, hey, we got another family moved in. You love to see it. The tannery is employed. The saw pit's employed. Let's get, let's get the woodcutter back up and running. And let's get, get this rebuilt too. It appears to not require any transported goods. It looks like it just requires labor. Great. Oh, that's why if you buy mercenaries, it's good. Let them do the fighting. Oh. What about the berries and herbals? Didn't I do it? I assigned somebody. We need uh, we need a bit of wealth for the herb for the herbals, but I did assign a party for this. And we'll leave everybody else for building for just a moment. Just to get everything built. Clay. We have access to clay, and we have access to iron, and we have access to stone. On a long enough timeline, we need all those things. It looks like we have enough houses for the time being, too. And we're making money. We're making decent money. You say you don't have clothing, but I think you're lying. Unless we need uh, just another another tailor or whatever. Oh, we're probably out of out of leather. Just more people. More people all the time, always. Oh, and then we'll need people to work this too eventually. This still hasn't gone away, but not enough, not enough stable space. We do, in fact, have enough stable space. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. Is anyone going to come fix this? The grant will have to come back when this is done. Oh, it was paused. I think that they were paused. Is anyone on their way? Here they come. I think it was paused by default. Brian Y, welcome in. Why is order at 90%? What What is order? New family moved in. Yes. Good, good. We got 59 people. The sales icon? The sales icon. Oh, public order. Lack of administrative buildings. So we haven't built the taxation stuff. Oh, we did just build another food stall, it looks like. It stinks that we don't have more... Well, I guess we will once this is done. We'll have a second food source. 
Oh, here they go. The granary's done. Uh, let's limit everything. So this one, we're actually going to pu <clears throat> purely do... Right? Does that make sense? We only want wheat, rye... We don't even need need wheat, really, but rye, grain, and flour can all can all hang out here. And then we'll get a bakery up and running in a little while. Need an oven. Yep, communal oven. Try a huge plot with veggies. Yeah, 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 to make bread. Yep, absolutely. Gotta smooth that beam over there. Gotta smooth that beam over there. You just gotta do it. You gotta smooth the beam. I may dedicate an ox to this to this area to the farm for uh plowing for next year. It's also these are pretty far the down on fertility currently. I need to drill holes for the pegs. Can't find a storehouse for excess weapons storage, Fletcher House. So the so the storehouse is full again? Ah, or it caps out at forty one. Which is good. I'm not going to assign a family to this until it's done. Or until we until we have. Once we have a reason to, to use these things, we'll do it. I guess now is a good time to build the oven too. Or we can make a an artisan. We could put a house here and make them an artisan, which might be cool. But what do I know? Communal oven. The oven can go... Uh, let's put the oven right next to the granary, actually. This whole thing can all be within range of everything. They all turn around and come back. Sell the excess. Shall we? We can. So let's do trade. Military. War bows. A root is required. Uh, a root is required? Why? So we need a horse then. We need 30 gold to get a horse. Fresh meat. Get your fresh meat here. I think we're just going to wait until we can get a horse. What was it? Did I say 30 or 40? 30. Last icon to the right. You need to buy the root itself. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, good. Well, let's see. So it costs that much money. That's the that's the barrier entry to selling bows. So it costs 30 then. Establish a trade route for 30 gold. Got it. Got it. We can do that. Yep. So when we get 30 gold, yell at me. I'll try to notice, but I don't know nothing. In the first column you said if you export it. Yep. Yep, I've done that. I've never had to set up a trade route, though. Maybe it's because I was just selling, like, boards. You can sell planks for two gold apiece, I think. Plenty of timber. Plenty of timber. Oh, and I guess this granary will probably be opening up a market stall over here. You'll not find I assume. Anywhere else. Is there a harbor too? No, Ron. Just, uh, we're landlocked. As far as I can tell. There's rivers. I haven't really observed any. Here they are. There's rivers, but there are no bridges. So I'm not sure how... Okay, no bridges, just just uh, crossings there. Communal oven's done. 
44. We got another family moving in. This is good. We are all staged and ready to make to make uh, bread. We have plenty of timber. Well, berries are still pretty much our sole source of food, aren't they? Yeah, it's pretty much just berries these days. Herb garden. Now we can leave this one alone and they can make herbs too. What's the point of the game again? It's a city building game slash combat game. You, uh, you go, you, you do resources, you store stuff, you make stuff, people move in, you build an army. Oh, raiders near 206 days, it says. Prepare for the attack. So I guess we're doing that right now, huh? Oh, there we go. Good. So we're finally here. If we have enough people, if and when we have enough people, we can also go for a... Uh, we can build armor and stuff. Sell those bows. We don't have the money to do it. Bad egg. We Did I just spend the money on something? Because we have seven gold. What did I spend the gold on? Oh, does upgrading cost money? Shoot, I probably did that. No, it costs... I mean, where where did the money go? That's a good question. Hunt bandits to get gold. Well, okay. How, do, how would I even do that? And will I win? I don't want to go for an engagement if we're not going to win. There are bandits just up the way. Oh, okay. Here's a crossing, kind of. <laughs> that's that's what it is, but unless you can just walk across rivers. Just do it. Okay, I'll just do it. Recruits missing. Equipment missing. Should I get Don't do it now. Okay, I'll do okay. I won't do it now then. Is it harvest time currently? Because we have no one employed at the farms. So in autumn it's harvest time. Papa Bear, welcome in. What happened to the highways? This game is great. Yeah, really, really good. Very promising. You think it's September? I saw that, yeah. So I'm, I was reading the tool tips. Autumn starts in September and harvesting, plowing, and sowing crops. I wish I could see how far into summer I am. It does seem like I should throw more worker, more farmers over here, probably. Yep, this is Waldbrand. It's it's our region. So our little our little plot here. Oh jeez. It's not working. There's a way to go to the map that isn't zooming out, but usually I can just zoom out and it just turns into map. It's a little scary that's not working right. There it is. This is our spot. This is Waldbrand. I guess the map goes this way. And I'm looking at it sideways. But this is the way that the game spawned. This is the way the game loaded, so I'm inclined to leave the camera this way. We're in August. Yeah, I know. I wish I could see how far through August we are. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I wish I could see the actual date. Oh, I spent the gold on herbs. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I wanted it. Yeah, it was 25 gold. You're right. The date is not here. Yeah, it's a small problem, right? Small problem. Do I have any of these places double employed? Just making sure. We have many employees at all these things. I think when the time comes, I'll just throw four families on the farmhouse. Forecast of the future? I don't think so. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, this says 23 days, 22 days. Okay, so that's the way to know. 22 days left till harvest. Keep an eye on that.
Berries. 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 Get your berries. Oh, German for forest fire. Cool. Hopefully not. Yeah, yield is going to be pretty bad over here. Fortunately, we don't have to buy seed. So you just kind of get what you get. Tavern would be great here. Oh, new family moving in. Great timing. We're going to need them. A little while here. 16 days. And I've got six families on the loose and I'm not building a darn thing. Well, that's not true. We're upgrading these houses as, as time passes. Am I embargoed on... I'm not sure what the rules are, Coretto. I just saw everybody else doing this. I looked at Twitch yesterday and I was like, oh, everybody's already streaming it, so... I don't care. I'm, I don't know what the embargo is. I, I think I think it's I think they're just glad people are playing it and showing off the game, and I'm glad to be playing it and showing it off because it's a, it's it's been a good game. Here, let's get people employed over here. Maybe even five. What do you guys think? Five? Or should I stop at four? Let's go five. Started seeing it on Saturday. Oh, no reviews? Oh, okay. Well, I'm having fun. Can I say that? Step right up and so everyone knows exactly what state the game is in. Absolutely, Coretto. Yep, I agree. Yep. Transparency is really important. I wonder how many wheat... Like, how many rye per grain... You know what I mean? That sounds safe. Five families. All the families we could spare. Is there somewhere... Well, we'll want one for the trading post eventually. Once we have money. A bandit camp was sighted. Another bandit camp. Right across the border. It's right there. Oh, there's another one. These two are dead. Oh, they killed this one and left this one then. You do know how to. Oh, goodness. I only know one way. Are they on their way? Maybe it's because there's no work. Yeah, there's no work yet, so they're just sitting. Work area is empty. Yep, this is done. Well, do I leave them employed because they're operating a berry stand? Also, ought I build another large storehouse? Let's do that. Just to stop all the madness, we'll build another storehouse right here, direct direct connected, and we'll make it just for just for these things and we'll try to leave this out of it. This storehouse can be for everything else. And then once we have money, we'll ex we'll start exporting stuff and uh, by then I can probably borrow the farmers to do it. Once they're done thrashing. You know, thrashing the thresh. Threshing the thrash. Turning the rye into grain. They're relaxing before the hard work. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. Now, did this actually produce? It did not. I wanted to see if it produced any, uh, any what's it. Oh, Pax and Coretto, thanks for commenting on the YouTube. Thanks for chatting on the YouTube side. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Glad I could keep up on that. Glad I could, uh, you know. Notice. Notice ya. Are we doing it? Three days. I want to see the yield. I want to have a family work in the windmill. I want to have a family work in the, the granary. It's a large one, too. This is wonderful. And it's just for bread and rye and whiskey and flour and grain. There is no whiskey. 
but it's okay. 24 timber. Ooh, saving. Step right up and set. New family moved in. Very good. Having extra houses pretty much all the time is, is the way. As far as I can tell, extra houses all the time. Constantly. 21, 22, 23. So we are housed currently. So let's get another round. I don't see why not. We just need more people all the time. Always be constructing. A, B, C. Always be closing. Moving this is becoming pretty obvious, but we do have a lot of timber already, so maybe just don't worry about it. Hey, get him, everybody. Ha-ha! Take that, wheat. 37. Ooh, it's a good harvest. Tis a fine harvest. And then maybe we put sheep in the fields after this. 27. Even this one's valid. This is That's a valid amount. He said, not knowing exactly what the values mean. Ah, uh, the storehouse is done. Pause the game. Hold everything. Someone can work this. And this is just for... Ready? None of that. None of that. I guess it's probably faster to X out everything and then go back through and see what we can, what we can do. Firewood and charcoal. That's really it, right? It's just for firewood and charcoal. And this one can be not for firewood and charcoal, specifically. Reasonable? What do you say? That seems like that's the answer to a lot of our logistical issues over there. Because now they'll just pull from here, and these can pull from here, and everything is going to go so much faster. Berries, berries. And it, it means this storehouse no longer even has to mess with any of this. So their, their work area just got a lot smaller. Yes, so Convo, it's just for the carts. It enables them to use a cart if you're connected to a road. Other than that, it doesn't seem to matter. Even with the oxen pulling the things, it does not seem to matter. Put workers in the rye storage? Well, they're going to turn it into... Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Yes. So I've pulled one family off that to go work the granary. Hildevolt, uh, Goldhoff. Let's see where Goldhoff is. Probably here. This is Goldhoff. Yep. So they're taking this. They're taking this land. Can you believe it? Do you not need one at the mill too? Uh, we, we do. But we need... So the farmhouse turns... The farmhouse converts the rye into something usable. Irish, it comes out in a week and a half. I don't think there's a way for the general public to play it. Resolve the claim. Uh oh, Cash G, thanks for following. Appreciate it. Welcome in. But yeah, we need one at the mill, but this turns the grain into something. Yeah, let them do it over the winter, right. Well, I just want them to... I want the granary to pull all of this stored rye off the fields because I think it goes bad in the rain. Next Friday. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We got 22 gold in the bank. That's cute. Another ruler's, ruler's army was sighted. They're heading towards... 
their own area. They can, all right, be yourself by yourself. I'll leave them there because they can keep operating the pantry or the, uh, the sales thing. What's the, oh no, hold on. We do not have this connected. Is this connected? Yeah, okay. That was not connected before. Which would be a huge mistake. This is connected, right? It appears to not be connected. The more I look, the more perturbed I am by the by this discovery. This is not connected. Can you cut across now? They should be able to cut across to get in the front of this. So they should all be dropping. Oh, they all get carts. Oh, lovely. So they all grab carts and they all grab the, the rye off the fields. I don't know if it's all of them, but many of them will grab carts. How's this working? Very efficiently. Are they taking the firewood out of here? I don't know how that works. If they're supposed, if they can expel firewood, or if this one pulls the firewood, or what? But they're making moves on Goldhoff. I don't think there's anything I can do. Resolve the claim, use the king's favor, negotiate. I think I just got to make bread, guys. I think it's that easy. Sometimes you just got to make bread. I'm minding my own business is what I'm doing. So they should be getting 10 every time a cart leaves. It should be 10. And then other than that, every individual can grab one. I think is how it works out. There's still 27 on this field. It's probably getting destroyed in the rain. Guys, come on. <laughs> Help. Help. Help us. When life gives you rye, make bread. Yeah, do something with it. So this, once they're done, I believe they start turning this. Oh no, the stock's damaged by weather. Oh, it killed them. It killed all of the stocks. Shoot. Unless this person got some. I don't think I can even see it. Shoot, so this whole field is basically a wash. But that is how it goes. These are all done. Another row of houses. Or was it this one? These are the new ones. I'd love to have bread completed. There we go. We're threshing and thrashing and, and whatnot. So let's actually pull a family off of that and put them on the windmill. Nothing is stored in the pantry yet. Well, Bookie, it's it's a matter of having proportionate help or having the granary employed in time. So it's not that... I mean, you can have them big. Like, I don't think these are too big. I think I should have had employees at the granary or more people working in the farmhouse, which wasn't possible at the time. But this, far, uh, this one, we got everything off of it. This one, we got some of it. I don't know exactly how much. I don't want to know. Oh, are some still... Good. We're getting grain out of it. It's happening. Nice. Ah, they move it around. Cool, it's working. It's all going. It's all going. An oxen over here, an ox would be great, but I don't have development points to do it, to get the heavy plow. That's okay. Bows! Bows indeed, bows indeed. Trade. Military. More bows. Right? Established. Sick. And now... We export them. 
and our desired surplus can be... I don't know how many. We need to employ a family here too, but we got one. Don't crash. Uh, our desired surplus could be... 35. Why not? We could always order a new horse, apparently. Somehow. Not enough wealth. 36 for your own army. That's what I figured. But that, that even says surplus. Sorry, I, I misremembered it as 35. But great, now we're making money. How's our army look? 20 and 24. In a few months, we can afford the people. Irish Shore. Let's check out our farm. Haha! -ha. The windmill. Oh, the birds are nice. Not a, not very much going on in the sky at this point, but here's our bakery. Actually, we need to employ someone at the bakery in a little while. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Uh, these, some of the buildings. Maybe this one, too. Yeah. Decorated interiors. It's a little sketchy. It's a little sketchy. There's also sometimes a lack of collision. Yeah. But, like, that's okay. A lot of the important buildings do have collision. But yeah, first person, it's not like a... It's not a super diminished experience or anything. Let's see the people doing the wheat. Oh, the wheat is actually in here. There might even be a person around. The wagons are actually placed delicately. The farmhouse is probably... Uh, it's kind of in existence. But yeah, for early access, I think it's pretty good. Ooh, the farm is not as flat as I would have assumed. But yeah, it's good. So now we need... Well, everyone's probably home. Oh, they're not. Should I build a farm setup so that they can stay on the farm and not be so far? Uh, the windmill is manned. We have no... We have zero uh, flour, so there's no reason to put anyone in the pantry yet. Granary worker dropping resources. Hopefully they're dropping stuff over here so that so that we can be making flour. I'm gonna put both of these to medium and hope for the best. But yeah, building houses here would probably be A-OK. -okay. Use the steep plot for a field. Th this? I don't know. It's, like, not enough space to be worthwhile, is it? New family moving in. We can have them on the oven once this begins working. Oh, there they are. Yes, come and do. Firewood stall. All right, they built an additional firewood stall. Let's get somebody on the oven. <clears throat> this will probably become... What are you doing? Miller going home. They're not there long enough to do anything. That stinks. We could build a few houses here and hope that hope that people move in. No sheep yet? Nope, not yet. We could have sheep, but we don't have sheep. But we could. I get the sense that it's too far away from home and they don't, they're don't they not going to work properly down here. That's my guess. I think we need houses. They could go here. Behind the farm. Literal farmhouses. 
I think is going to be the answer to our to our problems. Yeah, Bookie, but then we build them the other stuff. We build it for them. Wow, that's obnoxious. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, no. Like, for instance, the well. Ah, uh, the well would go over here, I guess. Or over here, whichever one's closer. Probably over here. This this area has quite the bit of... Ooh. About to run out of timber? We have 29 timber, dude. We have 29 timber. We have so much timber. This is full. We have 28 timber sitting there. Absurdity. The triangle road on the left. Talking about this. Or here, probably. think let's think like this what do we get in here two houses there or we face them in this way this is probably like one and a half. No, that's two. Make small houses. Well, I mean, how many families do we actually want down here? Because I'm partial to this. And then we can let them farm their backyards, too. Unless we really want that many houses. Eight families for the farm, three for the rest. Yeah, so I get... I I mean, the result is we don't really need the... the backyard on these. I just always want to... I always want to do it. Let's get rid of this road. Can I not delete that road? Wait, road, alt. There it is. So in theory... Let's just pretend this is good. I make no promises as to the goodness or lack thereof of this, but let's see if we can fit a bunch of houses here next to the farm. Medieval lane math, that's what I'm into. That's my that's my forte. Oh, this road stayed big, even though I deleted the the house, so that's fun to observe. Okay. Two littles. Two littles. Oh, two bigs. I'll take it. And I guess we'll face these the same way. Wow. That one has a lot going for it. We'll start with that. They will also need a well. Clearly here is where the well goes. Must be the case. It's got to be this way. And clearly they will need a marketplace. I mean, that's really it, right? A well, a marketplace. They can come to church every so often. Whatever they got to do. The marketplace could go over here behind the farm.
What say you, everyone? Backyard farming is passive. It still takes time. The saving finish could be a little smaller. Could be a little less obtrusive. Oh. Whoa! Our regional wealth just went wild because we sold a million bows. So we have 262 gold now. That's a thing. Let's establish a marketplace over here. It's bigger than the other one. We could even do it much smaller. Something like that. What do you say, 20? Time to build the blackjack tables? Yes. We'll see if they start building stuff here. There's probably a storage that deserves to go down here too, because we're gonna be spreading our, our storehouse thin. Why are we storing this? Why are we storing log pieces? Why would that be, even be good? Because this is the only building that can use that. We don't want that, right? Hey, Cleo. Doesn't say it can store log pieces. Unless the picture is different. Work area is empty. Yes, it is. Oh, but they're still making herbs, so... I'm good with that. Hi, Cleo. I'm about to have to go. Oh, hi, Cleo. You're wild. You're a wild goose and silly to boot. Hi. Good girl. Good girl. She's very good. And we're making bread. It looks... looks. Hey, there it is. We made bread. Flour... Awesome. Yep, it's all working. What are you doing? You're transporting flour, I assume? Yes, transporting flour to here, and then the oven can pull the flour direct from here, and then this can pull direct. So the granary just becomes a hub for all the things. Like, oh, two bread? I'll take those. Three bread? Hi! I know, you think I'm ignoring you. All right, I'm going to call it there for now. We'll let these houses build. We'll pick it up next time, probably on Thursday, I figure. Unless I have something going on Thursday. I don't think so, though. But yeah, this is a good start. We got 78 population. We got more families moving in. Uh, 24 plus two households, so 26 plus another bunch on the way. Hopefully, it automatically distributes people. I'm not sure how the distribution of the families works. But yeah, feel free to follow here if you like. Oh yeah, and on the YouTube too. We'll see if I end up making videos for this on YouTube or not. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I at least have to know what I'm doing a little bit better. Save game number one. That's a fine, a fine name. Oh yeah, copy the raid message as well. Let's see who we got. I'm sure there's somebody somewhere playing Manor Lords. Hi, somewhere. Hi, Cleo. Playing. The cat beckons. No, oh, Jedi's playing Manor Lords. Let's do it. Jedi the homie. Good girl, Cleo. Is he about to quit? Does anyone know? What are you doing, Jedi? He's pa He's on the same screen that I am. Doing the same thing that I am? Question mark. Jedi. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find this. No, he's oh not reading. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is it? It's, it's a meme? I'm sorry, my tab Okay, I got him. Goes. Yep, Jedi is the best option. Oh, it's such a meme. Oh my god. All right, everybody, copy that raid message if you like. 
Don't forget to follow here if you want to find your way back. I'll be doing this again on Thursday. I also play oh, workers no, and resources and city skylines and you know, there's oh stuff. My God. I, there's something I'm for everybody. So embarrassed. Why did this make me? Oh no. I'm listening to Jedi right now. Hi, good girl. All right, I got to go get ready for dinner. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. I've been Yumble. I'll be back on Thursday. More Manor Lords. Really appreciate it. Thomas, appreciate it. Coretto, thanks for hanging out. Bookie, thanks for the input. GG. Loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good game. Sharpless, thank you. Ron, I'll catch you later. Everyone, Imperial Jedi is awesome. If you don't know him from City Skylines, you've been missing out. Amazing Girl, thank you very much. Another shout out to Pax for gift and subs all around. Really, really cool. Everyone, have a good evening. I'll see you on Thursday. Goodbye.